No one gets hurt. Open the door. They'll get worse than her. Hey, hey, Doc, come on. Finally. Don't do any crap. Let's go. Shut up. Hands behind your back. Come on, Nestor. We're giving you everything you want. Don't even think about it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Get in there. Sit tight. I'll handle the plastic. Don't blow yourself up. Pay attention. What's in the back! Doing? Come on! He's gonna kill us in here! Hurry! Leave us alone! We didn't do shit to you! All set! Phone it in! I'm making the call! here for us all to enjoy. Depends on how you look at it. What's the holdup? Coming out, B! Give it up! Ah. I got him! Ah. I saw your face, I'll remember you. You get a thousand things every day. How about you make sure this is one of them? I've seen his eye! He's crazy! I'll try to make this pain... <laughs> He didn't have to do that! Let's get going! There'll be time for grieving later! Yeah, you got that right. Boom! I'm setting the charges! They're on a timer, so brace yourselves! So long. Shut the fuck up and drive. Woo! Did you see that shit? Fucking put that bitch's face against the glass. Did you see that? Yeah, you're <laughs> real stout. <laughs> Chopper. No! Hey! Stick to the plan! What? Stick to the fucking plan! Come on! Where the fuck is the chopper? Fuck. Fuck! Fuck! I'm gonna check around back. Ah! Oh, the fucking bed! Someone must have fucking talked! <laughs> 
Alright, Brad's gonna be fine. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Out of here! Oh, Jesus! T, you gotta get out of here! I'm gonna leave you, Mikey! Go! God, I'm not gonna be. I'm fucking gonna bleed out. Go! No! Kill him! Come on! Come on! Fucking die, all of you! Kill me, you bricks! You cut suckers! You come near me, you fucking dead! Stay back! Not always a good husband. <laughs> not always a good citizen. He did not die a hero's death. But he was a man. <laughs> Our Lord was crucified with two thieves. So perhaps we should not judge. We are born of sin and we die in sin. And in this, Michael, is like anybody else. Father, we do not know your infinite mysteries, but we know that you will show mercy to our friends. Your son, James. He's a good kid. He's a good kid? A, a good kid? Why? Does he help the fucking poor? No. He sits on his ass all day, smoking dope and jerking off while he plays that fucking game. And if that's our standard for goodness, then no wonder this country's screwed. And what about you? What about me? Hey. I didn't have the advantages that kid has. By the time I was his age, I'd already been in prison twice. I robbed banks. I ran whores. I smuggled dope. And you consider them achievements? These were the opportunities I had. At least I took them. And where did these opportunities get you, Michael? They got me right fucking here. The end of the road. With a big house and a useless kid, and I'm stuck talking to you because no one else gives a shit. Oh, I'm living a dream, baby. And that dream is fucked. It is fucking fucked. Let it all out. I think I just did. <sighs> oh. Well, I think that's all we have time for. The same time next week? I guess. Oh. I gotta tell you, I ain't too sure this shit is working for me. Hmm. Well, a sense of overriding futility is a vital part of the process. Embrace it. Whatever you say, Doc.
just how you feel. Man, shit gotta be around here somewhere. Unless they buried it under the sand, fool. Another Gray and Lamar Davis production. Man, fuck you. Hey, excuse me, homie. Can you tell me where Berto Beach House is? No, homie, I cannot. Man, would you come on? Fuck. Actually, yeah. It's that house right there, with the yellow stairs. Yeah, good looking out, homie. Appreciate it. Man, get your stupid ass on. Damn, why don't you ask him if he knows the fucking owner? Or better yet, do some skywriting that reads there's a couple niggas here about to boost some cars in case somebody didn't realize. See, what you don't realize is we ain't boosting. This shit is legit business. Legit? Oh, yeah, I forgot, huh? 401ks, tax returns and all. Yeah, right. You the one all pumped up on doing this lick, nigga. I'm getting my money in the hood. I'm straight, fool. I'm cool. You cool? Cool what? Slanging dope and throwing up gang signs? Yeah, right. Whatever, homie. Yeah, homie. This the spin knot right here. Your boy Simeon wasn't bullshit. Man, get your ass in there. Bring your ass, fool. Always trying to boss somebody. Come on. Come on. This nigga must got the baby dick. <laughs> yeah, and all this shit paid for with bad credit. <laughs> Come to daddy. Which one you want, nigga? You always was old choosy, motherfucker. Oh, you balling hard with the drop top, huh? I might just be. Whatever, nigga. It ain't gonna make you go no faster. Hit me on the speakerphone. I'm moving. Oh, it's like that, nigga? Right up here, homie. I'm about to go nice and slow for your bitch ass. Shit, cool, homie. Hey, remember, we gotta be careful with these rides, homie. The Simeon ain't about to dock my pay again. Homie, man, if you need some bread, I can hook you up with JB's toast. Well, it ain't got glamour, but it's some money to be made. So him and Tanya can smoke crack in peace? Homie, I'm good. Hey, open up, homie. Give me some room. You on room? Go lose some weight with your fat ass. What you going slow up the road for, dog? Move over so the traffic can flow through. Whatever, nigga. I'll let something flow through your ass. Dog, I ain't you sure that joke works, dog? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, the one time. Be cool, fool. We got the paperwork. Whatever, you explain that shit. I'll see you at the dealership. Explain that shit, my ass. This don't make no fucking sense. I don't get you, bro. You are a racist, and I don't like you. And I will not sell you this car. I will not. You make my skin crawl, you neo-Nazi. Hey, you are all the same. This racist insulted me. Hey, what's up, boo? Who you calling a nigga? No, no, I'm not calling nobody a nigga. Wait, what the fuck? I, I mean, N-word. I, I, that, that's not cool, man. I don't say that. You fucking right, and you better keep it right, because this man right here, he's an international businessman, a multiculturalist. That I could not have said better myself. Ah. But seriously, maybe he's not a racist. But I don't think that he is man enough for a car like this. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> this guy right here? Him? Get him a hybrid. That's a real man's car. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are right, Lamar. You get a tax rebate. I understand. Money is an issue, eh? Money isn't an issue. This is the best part. Watch this when he real or mean. He gonna get all his full money. Watch this. Look, man, I gotta go. <laughs> hey, Simeon, I'm out. I holler at you, homie. <laughs> it's the best part, man. So, Jimmy, are you sure you are man enough? Take the wheel and show me. Uh, sure, okay. How about we fall through, homie?
chump change, I'm gonna knock a bad grown and sexy bitch who ain't got a fat peas eye. Who you trying to impress? Your auntie Denise, with all that ass nigga she got ass. She grown, yeah. She grown into a fucking idiot. Nah, she's sexy. Sexy? She more like obsessed with sex, nigga. Nah, mad for the penis. That's exactly how I like my women. What's up? Can a low come up in your crib? Man, fuck you. I'll see you at work. Oh, nigga, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe if you got rid of that old yee-yee ass haircut you got, you get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon the lawyer she fucking with, nigga. What? Oh, motherfucker. Ooh, honey. <laughs> Y'all telling me? Oh, he here. We living on top of each other, and it ain't right. Shoo! Shoo! Get on out of here! Okay, baby. I'll see you at the thing. You here? I was on the phone, boy. Don't be listening! Goddamn freeloader. Franklin! Hey, what's going down, huh? The market, my boy. Liquidity's a bitch. Get over here so I can give you the new repo list. All right, dog. I'll be around when I get a chance. Hey, what's up, Simeon? My dear boy, so good to see you. So good. Hold me. <laughs> yeah, look, man. Look, we've been working together for about a few months now, right? Which is why I am very honored to announce to you that you are employee of the month. Huh? Anyway, congratulations. It wasn't easy picking a winner. <laughs> yeah, me, Lamar, your nephew Sacha with the Twitch. Look, man, it's been a real honor, homie. But I gotta move forward in my life. It seems like all I do is let people tell me what to do and I do it and nothing changes. I tell you what, my boy. You tell me exactly what you want and I will very carefully explain to you why it cannot be. What? Today is repossessing vehicles that fools have purchased at exorbitant interest rates. But tomorrow, together, I never had a black son. But if I did, I want him to be just like you. Knock, knock, ah. nigga. <laughs> Hello, What's up, Lamar. What's up, homie? What's up, then, homie? What's up, dog? Franklin here has been awarded Employee of the Month. You fucking with me, right? Man, we both being fucked with, dog. Man, knock it off, man. For real, after all the motherfucking work I put in, man. Man, fuck this Employee of the Month shit, homie. I'm sitting up here trying what to get What you mean, us... fuck this employee of the month shit, man? When it's some shit to be won, goddammit, I want it. I don't give a fuck what it is. You know what I'm talking about? I take no prisoners. I go hard doing this shit. Big dog, big nuts. When names is on the motherfucking board, I want to see my name at the top of that motherfucking next to it that needs to say, winner. <laughs> uh, maybe next month, huh? Man, fuck next month, Simeon. What about today? I, I demand a retrial. Today is nothing. Just a bike. Hasn't made the payment at all. Some kid at Vespucci Beach. His name is Esteban Jimenez. Is he in a gang? Curiously enough, I did not inquire when he bought the bike. <laughs> we got work to do, uh, employee of the month. Man, fuck you and come on. Man, he's about a yes master ass nigga. What we waiting for? Magellan Ave, nigga. Best beauty beef. And you still rolling with that old raggedy ass here? That country bumpkin shit is enough to get us shot right there. I never took you to be old hairstylist type bitch. But now it's all starting to make sense. Hey, wasn't that motherfucker who took the bike that S.A. Vagos dude? With the tattoo on his face and shit? Yeah, that was him. Fuck, homie. I don't want no unnecessary bullshit here, all right? Nigga, I don't give a shit. There's a reason Simeon pays a couple of mean-looking motherfuckers to come refold this shit. We ain't Girl Scouts. In your case, I ain't so sure about that. 
Yeah, step up, nigga. Of course this dude real. Who else gonna have to require a surplus of paper and deficiency of brain cells? He just put a dub down on this bike. 20 G? With a 3 G note? Damn, that motherfucker must be tricked out. That motherfucker must be tricked out, dog. Man, this whole setup is designed to take drug money. All right, man, look, we go in quiet, in and out, no fucking drama. I'll try, homie, but I'm one loud, dramatic, brass, crazy, greedy, shooter motherfucker in the back type motherfucker. You love me for it, nigga. <laughs> and that's right, homie. Nothing but love, nigga. The bike should be in one of the lockups down here. Should be is the story of your life, asshole. I'm gonna make this look easy. Hey! <laughs> I think this crazy motherfucker wants something. Hey, what's up, homie? You all right? No, wait, wait! Away from me! Run for sample agents! Uh. Uh. Yeah, you thought uh. I was gonna hit your bitch ass, huh? Drunk ass nigga. Shit, man. Play it cool. Yeah, that's right. Keep it moving, bitch. Man, I don't like this shit one bit. Hey, look, let's keep it smooth, homie. Man, your pussy the only thing that's smooth up in this shit. Man, what exactly did I do in the past life to deserve your stupid ass? This is a routine lick, dawg. Chill. Do them Vagos look routine? This is shady-ass alley. Shit, we in Best Beauty Beach. We on the wrong side of Best Beauty Beach. You should know, a block makes a difference. Hey, 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 hold up. Got to be in one of these motherfuckers. Got to be this other one. If that wasn't it. My powers of deduction is telling me it's right there. Man, ain't this bottom bitch. Ain't no motherfucking bike in here, man. No shit, nigga. Hola, amigos. Hola, S.A. Uh, we saw you trying to creep up in here, man. Yeah? You saw this motherfucker? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Vamos. Fucking die. Hey, come on down, everybody. Come on down. Hey, nigga, I would've just got my ass beat over a fucking gunfight. Man, stop being a pussy, nigga. Oh, oh shit. On your left. Oh, oh, so you think you a gangster, oh. huh? OK. Oh. Oh. Man, I know Now look what you've gone and done. Follow me. Let's get through it. Damn, man. Just not We did so much for the big work. They trying to fail. You'll get PC'd up in the end. We ain't got beef with you. Barely, homie. Shit, we gotta get the fuck away from this shit. Man, we only came here for a bite. And that a motherfucker is right there. Hey, nigga, come here. We got your pink slip. May as well get this shit done. We really gonna repo after all this bullshit. You crazy motherfucker. Why we have to pop all them people? You was there too? Correct me if I'm wrong, but you shot more of them than I did. Yeah, but you started this shit, stupid. Man, you lost him already. That's a monster fucking bike you riding, stupid. Wash around the way. Be, be cool, my nigga. Nah, uh. Man, I can't hang with your ass for a while, bro. You a psychopath. You done finally fucking lost it. Nigga, 
That's that Apache blood in me, homie. You ain't lucky I ain't do a flying tomahawk and scalp they motherfucking ass. We can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sitting chief asshole. Nigga, and we ain't going to neither, nigga. I'm gonna keep this motherfucker for myself. Tell Simeon we couldn't recover. You fucking tell him, you fucking moron! don't like me because you think that I am an Arab. What? No. What are you talking about? Something like that. Excuse me. Wait. That oh, wait, boy. I, I... I am his mentor. I am so proud of you. What do you mean, a mentor? Don't worry about that. Okay, so what you got for him? James DeSanta. Some kid. He is already late on his payments, and I have this bad feeling that he will do more damage to the car than we can get back from him in the exorbitant interest rate payments. Huh? Just go and get it. The house is on um, uh, Hampstead uh, off Eclipse. It's an SUV. Yeah. Some Rockford Hills daddy's boy nonsense. Don't worry about it. Try to bring the car back in good condition, huh? Gotcha. Don't worry about it. It's so good to see you, my boy. Hey, good luck in uh, law school, huh? So, Mr. Kenneth, where are we at? Financing? Hey, did you change your mind? When I discover that you betray me, perhaps. I hear you took the bike for yourself, my employee of the month. Listen, man, me and Lamar was gonna get that back to you, dawg. Oh, I am sure. You will get this car off the daddy's boy, and then we talk. Insurance papers say they have a locked garage, so you'll need to gain access from inside the house. Man, it's never easy with you, is it, Simi? Do not talk to me about easy, you thief. on the J Dog, my niggas. Ooh, slaughter time. Oh my god, seriously? My brother is such a homo. I think he has a medical problem. Like more medical problems than the ones he's already been diagnosed with. <laughs> Thank you, coach. You're a real pro, Mrs. DeSanta. A real pro. Well, you're a great student. Now just loosen up those hips. Hey, Simeon, I got the ride, man. I'm coming back. Yeah, if you actually bring the repossession to me this time, I can have it back out on the street before the day is done. That's a 9mm semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Uh, well, look around. We just keep driving where you're going. Hey, come on, man. This was a repo job. Guy was behind on his fucking note. Unlikely. Considering my son just got the car. And looking at the way you're going about this, my guess, you're working a credit fraud. A credit fraud? Be serious, dude. I just worked the fucking repo. I appreciate a kid who follows orders without taking responsibility. Yeah, maybe one day we'll have a beer, and I'll explain how the world really works. Who gives you the slip? A car dealer, dawg, by the name of Simeon Terry. Hey, man, it's Jess up here. Okay, stop the car. Pull up. That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Whoa. Drive into it. Right through the fucking window. And fast. Or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. Man, you can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, 
Fuck my life, man. Fuck. Yo, what's up, man? Hey, I still got this gun to your head. Man, shit! No! Franklin! What the fuck are you doing? Mr. Samuel, it's not exactly how it looks. I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. You motherfucker! I won't be treated like this! You've gone mad! Fucking ass! You recognize this car? Huh? Does it look like it's worth five grand a month to you? You fucking racist! I'm telling you something. This thing's gonna need some serious body work before it's worth five grand a month. He agreed to financing. I have his signature. Yeah. Did he agree to have some punk break into my fucking house? I, I don't know. I, uh... That kid might be a fucking idiot. But you are a fraudulent scumbag piece of shit. Oh. Don't make me have to come back here. Uh. Say again? How the fuck we get fired? Man, it was partly all that bullshit you pulled, and partly the repos old man making me crash the car into the dealership. Ha! <laughs> you the crazy ass motherfucker in this partnership. You better spend them while you got them. Yeah, if you say so. Come by for that drink you offered, that's all. I wasn't really serious about that. What? Uh, you're here, whatever. Sit. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. That was just a repossession. <laughs> okay. You call it whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. What can I do for you? Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. Look. I'm retired. Ain't you a big young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years, and I got out alive. That makes me the right age. <clears throat> you look like a good kid, but if you want my advice, you give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt, rob, kill indiscriminately, and maybe just maybe, if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. It's bullshit. Go to college. Then you're gonna rip people off and get paid for it. It's called capitalism. Hmm. So what I saw the other day was like, when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone, right? What you saw the other day was a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well... And today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? No. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. As yeah, much as I can. So that's why you're here in Vinewood then, right? 
Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot. Who thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. Jesus, man. You a good time, you know that. I tell you what. <sighs> Least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. <sighs> it's not too far from here. Let's go. All right, man. I'm following you. Let's take Amanda's car. Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink with... Dad! Shit! I mean, our boat going down the Western Highway! It's... It's been stolen! What? The yacht's been stolen? I, I was trying to sell it. I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it. They just want to take it. I'm hiding in the head. You're insane! All right, I'm coming. For my boat! All righty then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. I'll do what I can to help with that, man. Oh! There! There, there it is! That's my boat! Your boat's in a fucking hurry, man! Yeah, well, we'll catch him! We got a plan? Sure. Once I get us up close, you're the boarding party. More like the falling in traffic party. You'll be fine. Anything happens, I got a piece of the glove box. I'll cover you. Oh, yeah, man, fine. Just fucking fine. So you thought of everything, right? Well, you see. Chop shop back there, dog. You drive us there, we can get the ride fit. My boat. It's just a thing. My boat. Please stop doing that. Listen, I fucked up, okay? I'm not going to lie. That was a really bad judgment call. But shit, Dad, I nearly died. And all you give a shit about is this fucking boat. No. Not that, it's 
all we do is scream at each other. No wonder I can't get a job. It's all your fucking fault. Or it's not, but it's partly your fault. I, I mean, I just want to impress you. By selling my boat to some gangbangers? I know it sounds dumb when you put it like that, but all you do is daydream or get angry. Look, I love you, Jimmy, but you're an asshole. And right now, with my boat disappearing over the horizon, that's all I can see. Franklin, did you do me a favor and give this kid a ride home after they fix this thing? I want to headbutt the road in peace. Oh, great! Leave me with the home invader! I'll get it done, dog. No problem. Dad! Enough! All right? Enough! Franklin, do me a favor. Call me a taxi, will you? Sure thing, man. Hey! I need a cab as soon as you can send one. Los Santos Customs, by the airport. Damn. All right, thanks. Thanks, man. Hey, so you uh do much yachting? Not anymore. No, I don't. Before, I mean, man. No, no, not really. This little shit stays in his room all day, and I don't have any other people to go with, you know? I like looking at it. Looking? Yeah. You know, I come down to the marina, sit on the dock, Pour myself a drink and look at it. Jacqueline. Did it clear my head, you know? Let me dream. Jacqueline, huh? Well, maybe you need to do some other shit to fill your time. Dream other dreams, man. Hey, this the place up here. I know this dude, man. His name How. He gonna look after him. So you sure you're good? Yeah, I got this. All right. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna come up front. Get out and walk around. It's okay, I can just climb over. Look, man, I'm gonna get the ride fixed, man. And drop it back off at your house along with this dude. It's all good, though, man. You go and get your head right, all right? All right. Listen, thanks for today. I appreciate it. You stop back out to the house, we'll talk. Ugh, you see? So, man. Hey, sorry we didn't get your boat, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's trick this whip, homie. Get you out for one of the races, Franklin. See if you drive as fast as you talk. All right, man, I'm taking you home. It's Franklin, right? Yeah, Franklin. All the credit for our guy. The home invader. You know what? Call me what you like, man. Yeah, I, I, no, I, I mean, sure. Jimmy, ain't he? Or James? Jimmy. Or just like, Jizzle? <laughs> no, nah, man, I'll just stick with Jimmy, homie. So, uh, what's the deal, man? Huh? You and my old man, I see you at the dealership, then someone steals my whip, and Pop is all like, he's been down there to talk to you guys. Your Pops did more than talk. What'd he do? Look, man, if he ain't tell you, I ain't gonna tell you. But I lost my fucking job, and I thought maybe he could help me find a new one. Dude, my dad is retired. Like, fully? Like, his only marketable skills are watching TV and daytime drinking. <sighs> man, look, I don't know, homie. He seems okay to me. Shit, he saved your ass. You saved my ass. Nah, nah, man. Well, well, maybe we good together, you know? Like, maybe we can get shit done we couldn't do separate. If it keeps him out of the house, that's cool by me. Yeah, well, we'll see. Look, I'm sorry my dad lost you. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry my dad lost to your job. It's hard out there. Huh, I mean, I'm employmentally challenged at the moment. Oh, you got fired, dude. Fuck! You got fired, dude. Damn, that's rough. Not fired as such. I didn't get a job. I've been there, homie. You've been putting them resumes out there, but no one's hiring, huh? No, I, uh, I didn't get a job. I've never had a job. It feels like hard work. Life, the days just kind of disappear. Hey, you play right to slaughter? Nah, not since the first couple. Yo, so like, since we're both unemployed, like, we could run together, you know? Yeah, I think about it, homie. Or, or we could just like, shop it, you know? Play darts or get our drink on? Strip clubs? Come on, dude, I get real crazy. Yeah, I got your number, shit, I need it, man, but uh... Hey, hey you know what? Make go easy on your pops, dog. all right? All right, church. 
Exactly, man. My brother from another mother. I mean, I, I hope so, because my mom was kind of a skank back in the day. See ya. Yeah, whatever, homie. Peace. Hey, look, man. Look! You were like a son to me. Employee of the month. Does that mean nothing to you? Man, the dude had a gun in my head. No loyalty, no integrity. You should have taken the bullet. My business, my totally legitimate business. You are fucked, my boy. Fucked. But you know what? It's getting to be a bit much. I have no idea how you cope. Of course I cope. I'm a woman. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> but girl, I done done all that I can do. But you know how boys are. Wait a minute. Oh, girl. Whew. Hey, how much further? We ain't even gone five yards yet. Okay. I know, I'm just asking. This is spirit walking. Exercises body and soul. It's all the rage. We are women we and women. We are free. Free and free. We are women. Here we are free. We are women. Here we are shouting. We, we are women. Damn. F, is that your auntie? Yeah, thank God I missed her crazy ass. She's spirit walking this shit now, man. That's just her attempts to... Hey, hey, don't be talking shit about your auntie, man. She got... I mean, she cool as a motherfucker, man. Come on. Come where? We gotta go pick up some shit from around the corner, man. We can walk and talk at the same time, my nigga. Why the fuck we can't drive? Around the block with Chop? You need to walk with your fat ass. <sighs> yeah, okay, you tall, linky son of a bitch. Come on, homie, we ain't got all day. Let's go. For sure, but what you got up? Kidnapping, fool. That clown D. That OG fool from Ballers. Dog, I told you, no more game banging retro vengeance bullshit. I'm trying to make some fucking paper. You gonna make some paper, low? And ain't nobody out here gang banging. It just look like that. You gotta know the difference, man. Fuck, man, great. My aunt would be very happy, homie. She wants me dead anyway, so she can get the fucking house. You driving. Get in the van, Chop. Get in the van. Good dog. We going to Vinewood Boulevard. Hey, I like your dog, homie. Me and Chop got a lot in common. Yo annoying ass. Man, I'm carrying both of y'all asses, homie. Look what I set up. Man, fuck this, man. You seen Tanisha? She's straight. It's me and you that ain't straight, though, homie. Dog, I know, homie. But look, I met this contact, this white dude. I met this contact, this white dude. Real serious dude, man. This motherfucker know the streets, homie. I know he'll be a good hookup fool. We don't need no hookup fool. I know these streets. You know these streets. Man, all you know is dime bag hustling, credit card stealing, boosting gas tankers on me? Come on, man. What, you trying to be some fucking commodity trader or something? Fool, that shit went up, man. Look, homie, I don't mind dying, you feel me? But I just want to die with something that matters, homie. That's what foreign gangsters should really be about. And I know this much, because motherfucking OGs ain't even giving a fuck about us, though. Man, fuck the Fool! Fuck the OGs, Dean. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no motherfucking pyramid scheme. Wait, hold on. Listen to your boy one time. Listen to your boy. You want some paper, my nigga? This is what it's about. Check it out. I'm talking about 40000 No problem. Cash in hand. Two days time. No killing. Nothing. No, just starting another beef with the fucking ballers, nigga. That's class A felony bullshit. We gonna keep our disguise on. Ain't nobody gotta know it was us. I've been told he up in the alley. Hey, what's up, boo? Ain't you little Laida's cousin? Yeah. Damn, you short witty. I was just saying, I was trying to and holler at you. you ain't hollering at nothing over here. Why has it got to be like that? I'm an OG. And OG, so what? So the fuck what, nigga? It's a million OGs Well, shit, here. how about I put one of these little X pills up your ass crack? Next thing you know, you're going to be begging for it, boo-boo. That's boo -boo. disgusting. What's happening now, D-Man? Ain't no fun if the gangsters can't have none. Man, fuck you, Mark. I ain't sharing no ass with the CGS. Ain't nobody sharing nothing. Man, shut the hell up, fuck bitch. Fuck you, nigga. Man, fuck y'all. 
Hey, ain't there a law against you mark-ass gangsters insignia mask-wearing motherfuckers? Oh, so what's up now, nigga? You snitching or something, oh, nigga? Oh, shit! Bitch ass nigga? Fuck you, nigga! I'm out of here! Fuck off, hey, Come on, get that nigga! Come on, let's go! Go, go, get in the van! You see what he driving? Man, we in a van, motherfucker. We fucked. Oh, gangster, we got this. Hold on, chop. We losing it. You seen that bitch back there? She a doc. I'm all over that. And she probably the same. Like I said, they flock. Flock your mind on this shit right here for a minute. You worse than chop. Bitches. Do that weird, like, focus shit you do. You get all sex face when you do that shit, homie. That's hilarious. Oh, shit. Damn. He got fucked up. Man, take Chop. Go get that fool. Nigga, you just sitting your ass there with your feet kicked up. Come on, Chop. Come on. Go bite his ass. Get that motherfucker, Chop. Get him. This right here is one sick, nasty-ass motherfucking dog. I recommend you give up. Don't let him find you. We coming for you. Fucking cop! You're gonna feel like a two-ton What a big, badass baller gotta run for. At least I'm getting a workout. his ass chop train, boy. Hey, Chop, that smell like a baller. Your ass caught. Fuck, Chop, what you this. smelling? No, man. Down, boy. Chop, man, you don't gotta do that. Get out that thing, Chop, you filthy motherfucker. Man, that's a dude, Chop. Man, you'll fuck anything. This ain't time for humping, Chop. Come on, man. Come on, you horny little motherfucker. You need... Where is he, boy? Come on, where is he? Lay down, bitch! You scared of dogs, nigga? Oh, shit! Fuck you and your stupid dog! Don't hump him! Bite his ass, Chop! Get his ass! Get the oh, fuck up, you suck up, up, bitch! That bitch just fucking bit me, man! Shut the fuck up! Hey, man, get over here! Oh, shit! What the fuck, man? I ain't got no beef with the CGF! Because maybe we doing our own thing! What the fuck, man? What the fuck man? in the fan, punk? Hey, Lamar Davis, is that you, nigga? Nigga, shut the fuck up. Just get in. Yeah, that's you, nigga. Fucking ah, idiot. Shit. I said Go. I had no beef, man. Shut the hey, fuck up. Hey, man, what the Watch fuck? Watch Get this fucking dog away from me. Come on. Fuck. Hey, if you don't train Chop, he gonna be a lost cause like you, dog. We gonna stash this dude in my spot. We going back to your crib? I've been there when you was in diapers. Shut up, man. You ain't recognize me. I knew it was you before you took that flag off. You always been dumb, Lamar. Really? Well, I guess that means we gonna have to shoot your ass when we pick up our 40 stacks. You ain't gonna pick up shit. Fans gonna be on you before you can even move, nigga. Be quiet. I gotta make a call. We got your boy. You calling him on a cell phone, you dumb motherfucker? 
They gonna trace this shit in a second. We want 40,000. Just pay me or pay the funeral director, motherfucker. What the fuck you done done? You just gave them our location. Now we gotta let this motherfucker out of here. Get the fuck out of here. And nigga, give me that damn phone. What the fuck? Fuck you I'll be seeing y'all soon. The only reason you been seeing shit cause we went easy on your ass. Remember that, dawg. This some bullshit. Take me down the cut. Alright, motherfucker. You the motherfucker. You better watch out for them ballers. They gonna be on you now. The cops gonna be on your ass too. Yeah, I ain't worried about it. I'm a motherfucking gangster. You know how I do. I can take care of my sizzle. No, the fuck you kids ain't. Hey, man. Tracy. Yo. Amanda! Amanda! You better not be! Not in my house. Fuck you, Michael! Go away! I'm paying that turd 150 bucks an hour to fuck my wife in my own bed? Michael, go away! Oh, I'm sorry, bro. She said you had an arrangement. You and I are gonna have an arrangement. I'm gonna arrange your fucking funeral. I'm really sorry, bro. I'll comp the session. I promise. You are dead, man! Oh. Fuck! Dead! Come here! Ah! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked a prick in my bed. <laughs> you bullshitting. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! Truck yours? The guy's doing some work for me. He'll get it back. Might have a dead body move to it, but he'll get it back. Oh, so we killing this dude? He'll wish he was dead. Is that a problem? Shit, the dog shit shit in another dog's kennel. Exactly. People been shitting in my kennel for too long. Left, look, man. It's this track here. Hey, you know, one of these fucking houses. Yeah, keep your eye out. Little freaks up there, look. Oh, shit, Cole's doing all right for himself. Hey, asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts! Michael, fine! You got the wrong idea, man! There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand! Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro! But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better! Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand! On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down! Oh, I hope it is, bud! We hooked up, man! You come into my house? Take my money and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. Yeah. My bad. Seriously. Oh. How fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Well, oh, hey. Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see what happens! Dude, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh, shit! You see this shit, dog? Oh, hell yeah, homie! You know what time it is! Man, I think that shit's coming down, man! Man, get some force on that motherfucker! Oh! <laughs> Let's see how he like that. Whoa, man. 
Fuck, fuck him! And fuck his deck! Hey, homie, I think you put a little more than a deck down. That's a foolish man who fills his house on sand, baby. Hey, man, I don't think my boy Matthew was thinking truck when he wrote that shit. Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone. You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. Feels good, man. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Doing something for a change. Man, you know what? You are wasting shit about that fucking fool, man. You're right. I need to do something. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside? Show has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Do you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. No. Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo... It, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, I've got a question for you. What did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I wasn't thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. <sighs> well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance a rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that it, the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, dog. Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Doc, hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. 
Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done, you need to know something, so why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag, and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. Hey. Hey. Oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I... I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, you've been at it on this PC. Ah. Uh, and that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. Send me the phone. <laughs>
Oh, nice. Dude, when it blue screens again, you're my guy. Bye now. Shit! Pull up. Get out of the fucking way. Hey, Michael, hold on, hold on. Don't! I doomed ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. And hey, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes. None of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, uh, whatever you say. Enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll... <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame! Out. No! I'm watching Fame or Shame! Not fucking tits! Give me up! Mine's on fire! <laughs> The most racist guy in America. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you are about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination! We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we have invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. Huh. Hold on a Fuck second. You. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Oh! Get security! Ah. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... no, no, no. Whoa! Lest, that was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know, the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, maybe I'll take a look. I don't want to know. Franklin! What the fuck? I mean, what the hell going on here? Wait a minute. Franklin, what are you doing here? I live here. This half my house, too. So you say? Anyway, Magenta is reinvigorating my femininity. So make yourself scarce, boy. Go. Go. With pleasure. Go. Goodness. And stay out of trouble! Love. Yeah, yeah. 
bitch, you ain't no more of a man than me. I hear that. Gangsta shit, nigga. Look who's bizarre. What's up, What's fool? happening with it, man? Oh, <laughs> no, no. Show some respect here, nigga. That man, they couldn't hold down his back. Come on now. Damn, man. I gotta spend my day with another middle-aged fool trying to recapture his youth. What this fool just say? I missed you, dawg. Oh, oh, you miss me, huh? Nah, no, I ain't missed you. Your ass could've stayed gone for good. So I fucked your girl, mm -hmm. mugged your mom, mm. and better yet, I ain't thought about your ass in years. Ha, ha, you got jokes now, huh? Hey, but I see you doing well for yourself. Check that on out. Shit, I'm doing just fine. That's what I hear. But I know some sweet boys up in the pen that got bigger balls than you. Oh, you been doing your time looking at sweet boy balls? Oh. Yeah, it's good to have confirmation. This funny fuck. Why you keep hanging around this clown, L? Shake this fool, we man. We from the same set, Stretch. Why, why y'all niggas can't get along? Y'all been doing this shit for years, man. You know what, dawg? It's good you back home. Glad you here. Missed you, boy. Damn, you definitely got hit up inside. Hit up? Hey, hey. Yo, motherfucker, I know little niggas like you been turned out on the daily. Talking about being hit up, nigga, I swear, man. You ain't got no motherfucking respect. Motherfucker, I got respect for reality. Reality? All right. All right, you keep thinking that. Just keep thinking that, nigga. Shit, you gonna get yours. Fuck you. Uh, I swear, man. Sprizzettes, come whoa, on, whoa, man. Whoa, cool out. Fuck, Chill, man. man. This motherfucker get on my goddamn nerves. The nigga get on my nerves, too, man. What's part of the nigga charm, man. F, come on, man. Let's just bust a move, man. You gonna drive or what, Bill? Drive where? Pick up this heat, nigga. Why? Business, nigga. Real business. Come on, girl. Y'all niggas act like girls. Shit. Not me. Shit. Let's go to the gun store. You check this guy's look, gutter-ass hair, gutter-ass clothes. He coming up, but he ain't putting down. Shit ain't legit. Nigga, I'll show you legit, punk. You know, when I went away, you punks was little homies, and I was a big homie. Now I'm out, and you little homies is big homies. But you still gotta respect. Man, what the fuck this nigga talking about? We all big homies, but he bigger, right? Exactly. Man, that's some fucking pyramid scheme bullshit. Pyramids is good, man. Illuminati Pharaoh shit. As soon as we get this shit, as soon as we get paid, homie. As soon as we get incarcerated, more likely. Ammunition. Armorer to the stars. Hey, what's up, man? Firing range is in the back, and all our weapons are customizable. Oh, hell yeah. You can trick your blam blam out up in here. Quit all that. Just straight up artillery, man, all right? Don't y'all shut the fuck up. I got this, you clowns. All right, homie, get your shotgun with the flashlight modification. You got some cans or some shit I don't know about? Nah, homie. We got ourselves a drug deal. Why do I get the feeling it's gonna be one of them deals gone wrong type situations? Now, see, that's that negative attitude Lamar was telling me about, nigga. You ain't getting nowhere thinking like that. The power of positive bullshit. You ought to be clenching your motherfucking vagina muscles with my aunt, nigga. After his bid, it probably need tightening up. This ain't new age shit. It's fact. You get what you get, fool. You been getting dick, but you ain't giving it, huh? Some Mark talk like that to an OG? <laughs> CGF has changed, man. No wonder the hood is so lame right now. Speaking of change, Lamar's been meaning to talk to you, homie. Nah, nah, not now, homie. What's happening? It's nothing, my nigga, nothing, you know. Just some ideas, that's all. Man, ideas ain't your strong suit, so put it on me. It's nothing real, homie. When it's something real, we'll talk. Bullshit, man. It's realer than this crap. Hey, we meeting them here. Man, how'd you find this place? The homie set it up. It's the kind of spot where we ain't gonna be disturbed. That's what the fuck worries me. I'm more of a hide in the plain sight type of nigga. No, you more of a punk bitch type nigga. <laughs> What's what up, up fool? fool? What up, we it? got that shit, nigga, with a paper hat. Nigga, I'm talking about Buku Bill. More Davis. <laughs> What's up, boy? Everything cool? Yeah. Hold on, man. What the fuck, man? You was just kidnapping this nigga. Oh, oh come, come on, on dog. Now, don't real man. recognize real. D, my nigga, just got out crossing lines, did some time with some of your folks. Hey, look, look, look. This ain't about you, man. What? You know these niggas dumb. Yo, what fuck, the fuck duh? this trick talking about, man? 
Yeah, What's yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody I see, see. On us? They put a nigga on TV, man, about some gang intervention shit. Hey, this ain't the police, dog. This some ballers bullshit. Nigga, that's some bullshit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hey, we've been ball. set up, nigga. This shit fucked fuck up. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck you. Shit. Oh, bitch ass ballers. Come on, nigga, through here. I can see that. Did you think to work out an exit while you set oh, up this meet? There's always a way out, motherfucker, and we gonna find it. Cover me, homie. I'm gonna hit this. Fuck! <laughs> Clowns, man. You going first next time, no fool. Shit, nigga, then we all be dead. The necessary. Yeah, thank you for that, dawg. This all on you, LD. Lanky dumbass. Me? Hey, I ain't know the fools was gonna roll on us. If you started something with the ballers, shit. I don't care if you CGF for life, man. You done. Done, you dig? Actually, we ain't CGF for life. Cause all that means is we giving you money for nothing. Here we are, man. You gonna hang with your auntie while the men break it off. Shut the fuck up. Hell no, nah, nigga. You sounding more and more like a snee eye yitch every day. Hell no, nah, yeah. nigga. I sound like somebody trying to make some paper and not get killed. He's a hook ass nigga, I told you. Nigga, go toss a salad, stretch mark ass bitch. Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do is your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work, and I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. your linear entertainment go watch porn just go away shit fuck you what the fuck 
disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want, to be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just want you to do something. Besides, sit there, eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Yeah, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Uh, fuck me. A bike ride along Vespucci Beach? Okay, Dad, I got just the thing to show you. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh! Yo, you're... What the fuck? Yo, you're lucky you need to be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. If I'm hanging with you, I'm listening to my music. Fuck yeah, I'm a jam. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-based? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head trying to kidnap You're driving like a psychopath, Michael. Do you realize that? Or are you so high on your own outmoded sense of masculinity that you think this is normal? Shut your pie hole. I think we'll both be happier if we can spend as little time in this vehicle as possible. God! You think I've got learning difficulties, huh? Take a good long look in the mirror, pal. I'm not the one who doesn't respect my fellow human beings. No, not unless they're a spick or a Jew boy or an ass munching homo. Oh, there was me thinking there's a difference between witty banter arising from a sense of competition. Witty? Really? And mowing someone down in the street? Hey, I never said you had learning difficulties, Jim. Well, I do, and you never care. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Well, what the hell did you expect? Yo, thanks. Oh, no! If I beat you to the end of the pier, you're buying me a new TV. I'd never bike with the man who murked my flat screen. We're still running. If you bike a few more miles, we might be able to squeeze you into some skinny jeans. I'd walk away right now. Ah. Looks like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding. Good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs? This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Shit, shit, shit. <gasps> 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 <gasps>
Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm a dancer. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, Jay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Plus, we're taking you out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you got a killer pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey. No. Hey. Shit, hey, Daddy. cool, man. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, oh, hey. Oh, oh, man. I like them. What's the problem? You're such a jerk. Come on. Dad, you dumbass. These guys are serious. Yeah, well, so am I. Go to the scene of my fucking boat. Oh, motherfuckers. Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! Shit! They're coming after us! Go into that outlet! All right! All right! Oh my god! Shit! They're shooting at us! Oh my god! The worst. You see? They're gone. It's okay. I'll take you back to your brother. Okay! No, it's not okay! Not at all! Hey, we're alive, aren't we? Those psychos didn't kill you. Psychos? Only you could get me chased out of a party with effing guns! Yeah, huh? Well, maybe you're in the wrong fucking party! Asshole, okay? He smashed my TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what? You sent him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. Is this place a garment factory i needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes okay listen what do you got the holy grail the union depository and they say it cannot be hit hasn't been yet look i just owe some mexican hood a couple million bucks because i wrecked his girlfriend's house i don't need to go crazy here which mexican martin madrazo He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, yeah, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're going to need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. We're going to Little Portola. Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business. FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. But for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Well, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except 
for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Town. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Uh, take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. You reading me? Mm-hmm. Okay, we need shots of the security features, the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. I know, two people cried themselves to death with joy. Sir, thank you. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, uh, on the wall by the side door. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8, our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm going to take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Okay, now that you've got that out of the way, can you take the photographs? Alarm, vents, and cameras, get some shots! Glasses are live, shoot away. Ah, okay, that's their alarm. Can you get me an air vent in one of the cameras? Okay, that's the alarm and the vent. We still need a shot of the surveillance system. Okay, that's a security camera. Come back to me. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. We should go to the dungeon crawler. All the celebs go there. Whatever. Drive around the block and look for a way up to the roof. Look, there. Some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. Long time no see. Hey, girl. So, you keep up with the old crew? Well, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while. Needed to, uh know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD? Shootout? Maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway? They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. I'm on the roof! I need to know where the air coming out of those vents in Vangelico originates. There should be a unit above the store. You've got a good vantage. Now use it and get an image of the air system. That's it. Take the shot and we're finished. We've got our shot of the Vangelico unit. Looks good. Okay, that will do. Now come back to me before someone spots you up there. Will do. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. So, what did you see? Nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. 
security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes to rub his nose in it. Good. An alarm system's linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window if someone towns it hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof. Means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open, then? Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an OK score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. I might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the fruit. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we can cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. Ha <laughs> ha. My uh, workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Go and leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options. I'm showing you all the angles. That's my area of professional expertise. But making decisions. That is your domain, my friend. Here. Now, there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. It means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSPD tactical teams, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the L.S. River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run in through the front door or try to play it smart? Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Ah, okay. This one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. Guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. Ah, Norm. Came across as a, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. Hacker. Back office, but this is the person who will determine how long you get inside. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Let's take a chance on him. And if this is how you want to do it, I'll get moving. Great. Uh, I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Oh, yes. Huh? Good. Uh, I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa, what? My rep don't count for nothing no more? You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. Hey, what's up? Hey, man, it's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down, so... Well, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful, and the risk will be high. But you might learn something, if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you can put together your own deals. Your own jobs. So, there's still some preparation I gotta do. 
Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. Damn, baby, you sure you don't want to join me? What's up, homie? Hey, look. Chop got to stay around your crib for a while, homie. That's cool? Yeah, man, it's cool. Shit's the best place for him anyway. <laughs> like it ain't nobody out there gunning for your black ass. Bullshit, nigga. Just take care of it, man, all right? All right, I got you, dog. Hey, Lest. I got the good night gas. That's everything we need. I'll put up word that the score is ready to go. Now, we all know why we're here. We've got a store to take. The plan is simple, elegant. Listen to Lester, pay attention to the information he gives you, and we'll all make a buck. If things go bad, you know the drill. This wasn't organized. We don't know each other. We got caught up in a robbery and acted in self-defense. But it's not going to be an issue, because everything's going to go just fine. The, um... The uh, alarm system is easy. Now, if I didn't need to be running things, I could have it offline myself. No problem, but uh, you should be able to get us a pretty decent window. How decent depends on the job you do. Now, uh, once it's down, you signal Michael, he makes the call. Things look good. We should be able to drop a present right through the air vent on the roof. Everybody goes to sleep, no problem. We take our time. If we run into trouble, we move quickly and with force. Any questions? No? Let's go. Frank, you're with me. Ricky, I hope you can manage the truck with the bikes. Norman Kareem, you've got the van with Bugstar on the side of it. See you on Little Portolo, people. Initials only from here on out. I'll drive. That's what you're paying me for. F, come on, get in. All right, you got it down? I got it. Because you use too much gas on these guys, you'll kill them. Well, shit, don't blame me the way these canisters is mixed. Just be careful. <laughs> yeah, okay. Listen. I stuck my neck out for you here. Man, you don't need to tell me that shit again. I got faith in you, F, but you're unproven. Unproven? For real? So I didn't prove myself when I jumped off the back of that yacht on the highway, huh? Yeah, but these guys don't know you. They see some gangbanger with a happy trigger finger. They got money and their freedom on the line. I ain't gonna fuck this up, man. Good. I got enough shit to worry about. Hey, uh, so you made savings on the personnel, huh? Yeah, well, you know, I figure they're on Lester's list of potentials. They can't be that bad. Sure, man. What could go wrong? Cheap hacker, cheap driver, cheap gunman. Ah, uh, pretty much everything could go wrong. We got this, man. Don't worry. Great. The novice is reassuring me. <laughs> oh, brother. All right, this is it up there. There's a way through the site, up to the roof. Man, we went over this. I'm cool. All right, when the gas is in the ventilation system, give us the word. For sure, man. I got it. <laughs> Not yet. Yeah. That was it. They going out. You love her. Well, I, I love her a lot. I just, I wasn't thinking it was... Well, think about it like this. I mean, I always say that... I told him to fix that goddamn AC! What's going on? Let's go. Go! <laughs> 
go, go, go! Following your lead. Bros, don't stay in there too long, okay? This alarm is gonna go. At some point. You gotta be kidding me! Why did I employ a hacker who can't run antivirus software? Shit, um... Uh, okay, the alarm hasn't gone off yet. We ain't leaving here till we hit the target, come on! I think you've got maybe 30 seconds left. You're good at this, Em. Not a lot of time left! Screw these rich pricks. Hey, can you get your shit together and stop dropping loot? Who made this shit so small? This crap's slippery. Ten, um, nine, um, eight, seven, six, five! Time's up! We gotta go! Dude, you gotta go! You gotta go! Yo, show for the last time! Move it! Now get the fuck out of my face! Oh. You forget a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. I'll see you at the river. Go! It's go time! Map says this way, boys, all right? Kareem, you the driver of shit. Where we going? I can do with some damn warnings before we turn. Oh, bro. Oh, I'm driving. Flying back here. G crashed this bike, man. That's what happens when you... Working with fools. He was more experienced than me. Keep going, okay? Yeah. I don't know where to go. You gotta hold on. Don't leave me here. Come back. There you are. Okay. Hold on. I've lost my bearings. You know you've been employed as a driver. Man, you're supposed to know where you're going. Hold on. Just hold on. Screw it. We go this way. I hope you're right. What the fuck? My bike don't like this mud. Hey, these sports bikes ain't handling the mud. We should have got some scramblers, man. You asked for bikes. I got fast bikes. No one said scramblers. Bros, just a moment. You're not the only people waiting for you in the LS River. Hang in there, boys. I got this covered. Bikes? What the hell happened? Man, dude crashed before he got in the tunnels. Ah, shit! I should have paid for a better gunman. What happened to his part of the score? I managed to pick it up. All right then, good work. Waiting on you, kid. Lester's around the corner at the lockup. Oh, fuck, man. I thought I was gonna be stuck to that bike. Yeah, I thought you were gonna be stuck under a cop car. They got some more dudes waiting around that way. Ah, shit. We did not just get away with that shit, did we? You know what? I think we did. Oh, man. All right. Yeah. Woo. What kind of social media are you guys on? All right, people. We need to split up. They're gonna be looking for a crew. I'll wire your cuts when the rocks have been sold. Man, that shit was crazy, dog. So what now? We get out of here. Keep our heads down. Hey, you did good, kid. What'd I tell you, Lester, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, look, everybody take off. Hey, Franklin. Listen, Lester and I got some things we gotta clean up. I want you to stop by the house a little later on. We'll celebrate, all right? All right. Okay. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. We're back in action. I don't care if you got money.
me now. Don't you get it? That ain't what I was looking for. Not then, not now, not ever. I know it ain't important. Just let me take you somewhere nice, all right? Where are you? Uh, are you in a strip club? Grow up. Stop looking for the easy way. Tanisha, I gotta go, all right? Uh -huh. I, I'm gonna change, I promise. You won't even recognize me. Oh, hey, there you are. What's cracking? So, we all good? Hell yeah, we all good. We did. Yeah, you fucking ain't right, we did. So, here's the shot. Lester's offloading the gems. He knows a guy. Get us 50 cents on the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, we might actually have a little spending money left after we pay off that psychotic Mexican motherfucker. Whew. Cheers. So that's that, right? I hope so. The whole job. Everything about it. Anyone who knows your file. What is wrong with you? Davey! Long time no see. And what about Trevor? If that fruitcake realizes, no, no, finds out you're alive, you are D-O-N-E fucked! Hey, don't worry about Trevor. Trevor's dead. It's gotta be. Besides, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Whatever the hell it is you're talking about. <laughs> really? The criminals are believed to escape with millions of dollars worth of gems, oh. precious stones, and hey, hey, hey. rings. Albert's story had a lucky escape when the thieves ran straight into it. Yeah, I was just doing my job, and I said to this guy, hey, you gotta move these bikes. I don't know anything about that. And this other guy runs out of the shop, pushes me over, and says something like, you forget thousands of things every day. You make sure this is one of them. That was pretty scary. Back to you in the studio. You want to get lit now, sugar? Tre Trevor, baby, you want to you want to smoke up now? Don't do it, Johnny. Don't do it, Trevor. You been with my girl again? I'm speaking with you, asshole. Don't do it, Johnny. I told him, Trevor. I told him. We all get high. We all get high, but that don't Leave make it, it right. Johnny. Leave it. The crystal has got us, babe, but the don't make it right. Don't make nothing right. Not what you've done with me. I'm telling Johnny, leave it. I ain't leaving nothing. Trevor, I'm talking to you, motherfucker. Are you? What are you saying? Fucking my girl, man. It's wrong. Well, I gotta fuck someone. You want me to fuck you instead? Is that the problem here? Take off your pants, cowboy. All right, let's. It's fuck. You think this is funny? Get them off! I told him to leave it, Trevor. I told him. Leave it. Leave it. Shut up, Ron. I'm about to fuck me a meth head, ain't I, cowboy? Get my boy sucked from his toothless gums, huh? Fuck you, Trevor. Oh. I still love her. All right, cowboy. Hey, I know. Hey, come on. I don't mean nothing by it, man. So I just I know. I'm messed up. I know, cowboy. It's okay, man. Give me a hug, yeah. Shh. <laughs> fucking shit! Cut! 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 Who the fuck are you speaking to? Who? Who? I'm talking to you, huh? You fuck! Johnny! Huh? Next time, don't get in my fucking face! I just saw a fucking ghost and I gotta hear your crap! Get up! Get up! Fuck you then! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Fuck! <sighs> now we gotta speak to Johnny's recently bereaved brothers! Wait! This ghost I saw. His name is Michael Townley. Sounds like he's living in Los Santos. Find him. Really? Uh... My cousin's there, but I don't... Find him, Wade! Does this mean I don't have to come see the bikers? We're in a hurry, but not that much of a hurry. But if we bury Johnny in the desert, and then swag down that bitch Ashley you was in, then they don't need to find out about it. You think it's clever to disrespect women? Disrespect? What? I... Whoa! I wasn't disrespecting, I was just saying we should kill her. You called her a bitch. Ain't you got a mother? 
Everyone's got buggers, at least one. We're going up to that farm on the right. That's where they're meant to be. Biggest thing in TV this month. San Andreas auditions are being held at the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, you seen Ashley? Johnny's looking for her. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, I just did, just ten minutes ago. Yeah, I saw her on the end of this penis here. Uh, Johnny ain't gonna be cool if you messin' with her again. Oh, really? Well, you don't think so, huh? Well, why don't we just ask him then, huh? Hey, hey, cowboy, you mind that I fucked your old lady? Sorry, what was that? Well, no, 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 you don't mind? Oh, because you're a dead man? And the only sentient part of you left is this little bit of brain and the gristle on the end of my boot? Well, thank you very much, cowboy. Bullshit! Oh, I like it, denial. That is first part of the grieving process, brothers. Now let's all hold hands, huh? Well, it looks like you got something you want to say, huh? You got something you need to say? This better be bullshit. Oh, where are you guys going, huh? Let's go, ladies. All right, follow the van back to the rest of them. Then the lost MC are out of this region for good. Can't fuck with the van, but we can drop those bikers. Oh. Did you see the look on their faces? We scared them, didn't we? Yeah, thank fuck they didn't make you for the harmless idiots you are. You need to keep out back here, or trapped or something. I only keep things in the back, I don't mind losing. Oh. You got him! Yeah, you didn't see that coming. Do we know where you're going yet? I got a feeling, yeah, but we gotta make sure. Once you know, you can drop me and Wade at the trailer. Maybe bring Chuck to finish that. We do this now, Ron, all of us. We're right on these bricks. There's the other one. All righty, Ruth. Now we just sit on this guy till he gets to them. Come on, come on. Where are we at? Where are we going? Come on! Oh, look, look! They're pulling up! You did it, Trevor! They're stopping! Did you do anything? Soda? Snacks? No? Get in the fucking truck! <sighs> Wade? What are you still doing here? You said... I said go find a fucking ghost in Los Santos, all right? You looking for motivation? Oh, yeah, pick me up some sticky bombs! Our enterprise ain't just about math. It's about guns, too. There he is. Let's wake him up. What? With the truck? No, come on. Ortega nuts. runs the whole county. He don't anymore. Come on, come on, come on! Oh. Ah. What the fuck, Trevor? Is the fuck, my soggy friend? You are out of business. The lost MC are out of business. The guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise, or they ain't going. Say something, don't make it true. Trevor! This is happening. The shot callers ain't gonna be happy. You sure you wanna do this? I thought you was crazy, man, not stupid. Ooh, that feels better! <laughs> I guess he don't run nothing no more. Let's get out of here, man. Quick! This 
is an unprecedented turn of events. I always said I was gonna take over. <laughs> People say all kinds of stuff when they're three days into a smoking party. Oh! When they're three days into a smoking party. You calling me a bullshitter, friend? Clearly not. No way. You're a man of your word, as evidenced by said events. If I say something is going to happen, it's going to. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but as soon as the moment is opportune. Understood. Yes, sir. If I say I'm fucking dead, then fucking dead I am. I'm not gonna raise my balding head on a beach in ten years' time, saying, All is well. Is this about the ghost? Michael fucking Donnelly, yes it is. Who well, you told me about him? Your old running buddy. And who was the other one? Brad was the other one. Locked up in a federal penitentiary. When he finds out Michael survived that job. Yeah. What do you think happened? If I knew what happened, I wouldn't be bemoaning these last ten years I've spent in ignorance. Get out of the car, Ron. I need time to think. Run! Speak! You know I don't like using these things. They're listening. Then make it quick. That business thing's been set up. The Chinese guy, Mr. Chang, is at the inn. You said that on the phone? What the fuck is wrong with you, damn it, Ron? Now I'm gonna have to discipline you and you know how I feel about that. Trevor. You're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. He's one. Ban him. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? Anyway, I oh. saved your husband. Now get me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay, but any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Mr. Phillips. Ah, here he is. Yes, Mr. Chang, pleasure to meet oh, you. No, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang now. You all speak Spanish, speak it to each other! Mr. Tao Chung is... Uh, Pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh, yeah, he seems it. What the fuck is wrong with him? I'm out. No, don't go. Please, I beg you. If you go, his father kill me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't, but we hear that Trevor Phillips Corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out, we partner, make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing! Well, let me show you the operation. This is us. You can't get here quick enough. The Aztecas are coming. They think you took out Ortega. They ain't mistaken. Well, get down here and take them out, too. You sure your boss don't want this crank for his own person? No, no. Mr. Chang Sr. is very specific. He wants a good, reliable source of methamphetamine. We will buy from you here and distribute using established networks. I'm worried that might dilute what our operation's all about.
shit, Trevor. We ain't got long. Whoa, 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 whoa. Manor chef. These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. <laughs> Chang and his humble servant. Hey, Lo Shung. Uh, <laughs> nice to meet you. Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right? Gentlemen, please, come check out the storage facilities. Go on now. Nice, right? Oh, there <laughs> Ample room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out! No. So bomb. The tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Yes, Chef. Help me! If I knew we were having visitors, what is that, a little free clean? Ortega has been cool with us before. I think they really want to kill me! They got behind us! I gotta let our potential business partners out of the ice chest. Yeah, all right, time to recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo! Whoa. I think we have seen quite enough. Uh, I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! Okay. What's going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic, midlife crisis, hog riding, shaven headed, fruity leather, chapped wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor, they are. They're chapped wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. <laughs> Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45, find him. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. right? That's better. Run along. Now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. I gotta swing by ammunition. Go to Sandy Shore's airfield. Check it out. Ron! Ron, I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are. Did I get wrong? I'm waiting at the water tower. I'm up here. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Come up! We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. R really? Go on up, boss. This is high enough, enough for me. The time is right. Go on, my son. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. 
Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Over by the road. You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite in. Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I have proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore 
other opportunities. This bad guy. Bad guy. Maybe I'll help you calm down. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 <laughs> the O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem. Since one of them's gonna have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other, fuck you guys and fuck them! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! Ah! Uh, this music's all fucking wrong! That's what I'm looking for! Trevor Phillips! Elwood O'Neill! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Trevor, it's business! That wide-eyed idiot was mine! It's business, fella. You want to discuss it? We're at the farm. Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. Start writing those names on tombstones, because I'm on the way to your lab, and we're going to see how much of a family mess business you got when I'm done. They're dead, all of them, inbred hillbilly twice. I just spoke to that maniac Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers have you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how... I Business. He ain't taking our crown. He's inside. Look out! You assholes! You're in our house now. Come on! Oh, Larry's been hit. Oh, it's a oh, Fucking O'Neills. Hey, back to your fucking motherfucker! Man down! Crap! He's heading for the basement! Back, you motherfucker! You ain't getting down there! You fucking weirdo! Don't let him down here! Try to get shot? Shit! He's in the lab! Come on! Well, look at this! Come on, come on. Burn, you disrespectful pricks!
Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you wasn't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go, Wade, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? We need a ride. Get in! Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Roy. He's bumped in with his girlfriend in some place called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um... That might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? For fuck's sake! Another chapter of the Lost descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn, and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what did you want to, well, send them on their way to begin with? Grief has a beautiful way of bringing folk together, Wade.
that go okay? I heard lots of banging and screaming, but then not, not the next time. Yeah, we're going good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This my... This Michael Townley guy must have dished you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. Ow! He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government, they pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes with my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family? The house I must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eyes. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, T. Trevor, lube up your eye hole, fucker, because I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill. Uh, uh, please, don't turn me into anything. I just want to be away. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, hey, hey. How about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tr Tr uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have. But he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't. Because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. What could he do? I'll tell you in a second, okay? Just let me concentrate on the road. Right there. Los Santos. The end of the fucking earth. This is the place! I seen it on the holiday card. So, this is Bo Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly ten years. But you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Cousin Floyd don't live here. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd over in Vespucci Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He couldn't throw, and his coach had a, had a stick accident like, like I had one. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the new. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable. Grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him to a... Sent him to a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's... What was the troll's name? 
My Nish Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits. Like one, but no, no. Well, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob his shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Ow! Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd Tap. I seen it on the I Find map. I'll give you directions. This is the place, I think it is, at least. Despite opposition from conservative. Floyd! Floyd! It's up here, Trevor. Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck! Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink! Oh, you, Wade! <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here! He's gonna smoke meth here! Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here! Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was caught in Evelyn's bed. A guy would never prove. You gotta go. Both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait. Uh... I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go too. All right. Okay. Fuck. Yours? Of course not. I have only got myself to blame for the mess these kids are in. You are either drunk or you're staring miserably at the clouds or you're out there doing God only knows what. Oh, yeah. I've done horrible by you. Pulled you out of a Midwestern trailer park, got you a big mansion in Rockford Hills. Hell, the only thing you got to worry about anymore is. What part of your body you want to have chopped off or sucked out again? Screw you, Michael. Ah, but you won't. I was faithful to you up until I found you in a stripper. <laughs> I would divorce your ass if I could. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. Thank you, Michael, whatever the fuck our fake last name is. You have ruined my serenity yet again. My yoga is fucked. Oh, is that what they're calling it now? You and your fucking yoga. Did someone say yoga? Oh, hello, Fabian, darling. Namaste. Namaste. You must be Miguel. Namaste. Hmm. Nah, Michael, fuck yourself. Michael! You've got to work on your anger, brother. It's killing you. Yeah, tell me about it. Ah! There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? Ah, 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 ah. No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, huh? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner, but I uh, can't blame you. Who are you? I must stay. I'm Fabian. <sighs> good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, um, uh, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for Fame or Shame. Fame or Shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! She might disagree with you on that. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. You know, I could probably handle this myself. Let's say we grab a beer in a few hours, catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter. I'll handle it. Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family, fuck only knows what that means. <laughs> fuck only knows what that means. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, you're a model husband and a wonderful parent. You can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. Don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you and all, but you stink like piss, you got blood under your nails, and you look like you've been up for what? A week? Oh, bullshit. What the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you, you fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor motherfucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, how you been doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Aside from the loneliness and heartbreak, of course. You live in Los Santos? A few hours away. Okay. To where? Sandy Shores. The LMOC. Ah, I hear it's nice there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, the golf links, all the pumped up plastic sluts you're used to out here, but, well, you know, it'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but... Yeah, don't worry, all right? I got somewhere to crash while we work things out. With actual friends. We got things to work out. <laughs> yes, sirree. This has got to be it. Maze bank. Let's go in. From a humane... It's showtime, kids. These spaces are reserved for production vehicles. <laughs> Come on, Sir, you dipshit. You ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta, fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? It doesn't matter. It is be quiet. Shh. You're gonna be just good then. All right. Yeah. That was really. All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and... Trevor? 
two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. We've got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music. We That's it, that's it. Oh, oh, hey, hey, I got security. Security! No. Why'd you fucking oh, say? Come on, big guy. Come on, there. No. 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 Come here, you little shit. No. Go home right now, Tracy. Hey, you little prick. I got a deposit on that truck. Let's get that prick. He went left. How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. We're gonna flatten his toy car in this big rig. Don't you worry. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road! It's only a battery car, come on! This ain't exactly a racer. The little shit's all out of juice. Oh, hey, 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 guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Huh? Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, I'm all right. What are you doing? Now, I want you to dance sexy, celebrité, mm -hmm. I mean, I need music, or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> All right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, lower, come on. Oh, no. Please don't kill me, okay? I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, come on, get no. off. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Davey. How you doing? About as good as can be expected, but the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davey, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if, no, when, he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, 
if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... And we better go about saving it together, because... You and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy. Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? Oh. Oh. I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcoholic. What the hell was that? Don't worry, it's just gas. No, no, it's reanimating. You want to cut it in the coroner's office, you're going to have to lose the nerves. I've been around cadavers. This isn't right. Well, fresh is different. The ones you've seen have been on the shelf for a week. You can still smell this guy's breakfast. If you say so. Ah, the things I've seen in this place. Grown man you could fit into a sandwich bag. Bodies that are more maggots than flesh. This gas bag here is a blessing. I wouldn't take any bets on the state of the liver. We still think 40s? Takes a toll. He's an advert for clean living. Note the discoloration of the teeth and the fingers. Smoker. Pack a day, I'd say. Probably cigars, too. I was going like there was no tomorrow. Yeah, he's got that right. Some people think they're immortal. So you get chest pains pumping away at your mistress. Lucky girl having this thing on top of her, huh? She was probably relieved when he bought it. Awkward conversation with the spouse. Might have got some hush money. It's a win-win. Only losers are the chumps who've got to cut him open to rule cause of death. Get ready with the bone saw and the rib spreader. You might want to hold your nose. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Ah! Back from the dead, ah! motherfucker! Ah! 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 Come out! Hands in the air! Might be in the other room. Give it up! Out! Now! Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. That don't look right. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. But you'll have to get... Possible now. 
Hey, Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, Elboro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building. You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Hey, Franklin. What's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember, I told you I know people. Feds who looked after me when I retired. You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit, Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy, fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. Problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man, yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so, shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't, hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood in, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now, come on. You better take off. All right, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. I see some bad drivers, but you! Woo hey, Trace. What's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life! I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Remember after that boat? Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see, I did you a favor. Never! I hate you!
shit, man! Help! Hey, Michael. David! Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry, guys. This burning hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant! Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, <laughs> duh! I love it! I, I, I gotta remember to write that down. <laughs> and to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andres, taking notes? This stuff? Whoa! Pure magic! They should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so, well done with our uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. Then why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up their questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. My career depends on this. And that's very important to me. So seeing as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. Now run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Let's go. The Bureau owns a lot out in East L.S. Covington supplies off El Rancho. Can you take us there? Yeah, sure. Sounds nice and secluded. Kind of place you'd run an off-the-books operation, huh? So what? So I bet federal ain't on the deed. That's so. And we all like our federal government open and transparent. Except when closed and opaque suits you better. Hey, I'm just a puppet. You're the one pulling the strings. Nice car. Taxpayers treating you right. I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him, or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Okay. This ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. All right, that's cool. I'm in LS anyway. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that, so we had him picked up. That's a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got. Thanks. With you, we've got good leverage. Great. And you brought Trevor in. We're telling him I'm all cozy with the F5B. You know what? You better keep a low profile. Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Who's that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T, 
Enough with the faux political bullshit. Franklin, come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't Bill. Whoa. What, well, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of, uh, son I never had bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen, if you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. <sighs> all right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right. And we do this, and they help us spring Brad, right? Yeah. We'll talk about Brad later, all right? I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> The government gimp at last. Eh, yeah, bite me. Let's go. <sighs> All right, let's do this thing. We need to go to the agency headquarters downtown. Your new friends are a riot. No wonder you said sayonara to the old crew. Walking away ain't easy, Trev. But sometimes I guess you gotta make compromises. What happened to dying with a gun in your hand? Life happened. Annoying wife, two kids. Remember them? You get tied down, you can't move anymore. What about your ties to me? To Brad? Those ties are why you got roped in on this FIB instigated suicide pact. For as long as it keeps me amused, I am. I ain't exactly sure it's gonna be amusing. You fuck around while I'm out there, I'll climb back up this rope and strangle you with it! Yeah! Next, I'll have this thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. You think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. I installed cinema equipment, not surveillance. Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. You think you're impenetrable? See how you feel when this is 18 inches deep inside. No. Get the lube. Actually, no, no, no. fuck the lube. Let's dry dock him. I guess you got the, the world wrong. thinks you're dead, genius. Soon you'll be wishing you were. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Terminate him. Close this problem right now. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. Get me the station, Chief. I'm not finished with Mr. K. Hey, I got three guys in here. More on the way. 36 flow. I got you. Okay, is high value. He's got support. Hey, there's a here. What's happening? Hey, come on, help. Help me. Come on, man. Hold on. We got a window, T. Pull us out. This is unacceptable. No! Please, K. I wanted to brief that car. Hey, why are we just hanging here? Hey! Dooley! I'm not leaving here until you shoot those guys! So get moving on it! I knew you were a liability, you fucking turd! <laughs> Don't get angry, Michael! Do something! Whoa, That's it! Whoa. Get us out of here! Roger that! Looks like we've attracted the attention of their air unit. You got a bogey coming at you, Franklin! I thought I had the easy job.
people. That doesn't matter. They said they were government. I do home theater. I'm not a... I don't care who you are. Then why are you doing this to me? <laughs> hey, hold tight. I got some friends with the Bureau. They'll explain everything. You saved me. Thank you. Thank you. Don't mention it. The Bureau. The FIB. They will make everything okay? I'm sure. Don't worry. They'll look after you. The things those people did to me. I'm an American citizen. Right, let's go. Where are we? They go easy on it. Thank you. Oh, my, you saved me. Hey, hey. No, huh? No, 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 no. Hey, hey, I said easy. Oh, come on. Give the no. guy a break. I'm going to get out of this shit. Ha-ha! <laughs> In bed with the Bureau and a new running buddy. Yeah, he's more of a protege. Yeah, what, you gonna teach him to be old before his time? Yeah, to never grow up. That seems like a good kid. Yeah. Michael, uh, look at this, huh? New city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. All right, Jerry, I'll see you later. Oh, you better believe it, buddy. What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still, that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yes, she's very centered. A regular you oasis of peace and tranquility, this with one. anger issues and worse friends. No you... wonder I'm so upset. You too, please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. Oh, come, come, please. Miguel, come. Oh. Awesome. Oh. So, Fab, if you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubts. So why is she driving a tank on hers? <sighs> Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now, here is good. We have the sun and the Murabunda. The asshole. Now we begin to put the asshole to the earth. Yes? We begin each sequence. Tadasana. Yes. Or mountain pose. All right. Un, deux, trois. Mouth and anus are perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. Un, deux, trois. It is perfect. Now, Michael. I don't know about this. Tail through the nose and out the mouth. Let it go. Strength, Michael. Now. In through the bloated nose, and out through those wrinkled lips. And release it. Fabian's body with your bank account would be the perfect man. You have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikhail. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there you go. Oh, 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 oh! What? Hey, enough of that! We can... ah! Yoga is the answer, Mikhail. 
But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving, and we are never coming back! Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh! Fuck you! Hand it! Bony! French! Fucking Yogi! Ah! James! Leave me alone! Oh, yeah. Fuck you. You know what? If there was a rape button, I'd be using it right now. Unless you're a faggot and you like that sort of shit. And then I'll just rape your mom instead. Nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I got to meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. So where's your friend? Burger shot. Oh, you fuckhead! Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we go down to the diner after class every day. I'm get milkshakes, fries. Dude, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it. I knew it. The mask was gonna slip. The monster's been exposed. The hell are you talking about? The real you. That bitter, vindictive old man. You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim. How many times... I love you. Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. But why do you think we're here together? You really have to meet my friend? There he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <laughs> Yo, oh, brother man, what's man? up? What's How up, you doing? man? Good to see you. What are you turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Ah, <laughs> oh, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck, Jimmy? Just, just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Yeah, but that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. All righty then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Get in here. Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine. No. Really? This is not normal. Chill out. You're just paranoid. It's not paranoia. This is totally justified concern. <laughs> you should see yourself. Jeff. Jeff. I gotta stop. Oh, who was in it? It's harmless. Vets have been using it for decades. What? You anesthetize me? You I'm fucking shit. shit. You from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. What? All right? You're too crazy, Dad. Get out
Jimmy, you little shit. Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who was a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Fuck! And Trevor is a... The Trevor, Trevor is a... Trevor is a what? Trevor is a good guy. He's quite family. I got kid, ain't he, boy? That, 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 that's it, right? Yes, Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so. Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's gonna leave me. I mean, this is her place. And the fornicating? There's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa, whoa. Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam. He died a noble death, bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Well, show me. Show me, no, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. <sighs> Mine ain't nothing special, but this boy gets the job done, all right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Uh, yes. Look at me! Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Oh, Jesus. Yes, I work at the docks. And? Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't rightly, rightly know. What kind of person are you? Oh, I'm that kind of person, Floyd. I am that kind of person. Now, let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there to put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run, we got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it. Well, I guess we're going to Port City then. So they've been guarding one of them dry docks. We can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules applied to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. What do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. Uh, you know I'm insecure. You've got a dead end job. What? Dead end? Uh, no. Floyd, it's dead end. Being a unionized longshoreman's uh, one of the best paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. They're so jealous. No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. It ain't so bad. I've been doing this every day for 10 years, only usually with less of the criminality. You're wasting your life, Floyd. It's lucky we turned up when we did. I'm saving you from yourself. We ain't heard from Wade. What are you, his mother? He's fine. The spillage shouldn't take this long to contain. There must be a lot of it. 
Good. Keep him busy while we get to work. Hey, 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 hey. You can't come through here. It's restricted access. No entiendo. Uh, no understando. Uh, manifesto. Manifesto say deliver here. Mm. Hey, stop. Where the fuck you think you're going? Get back now. Back now. God, don't speak English. Uh, must have just read the manifesto. manifesto. He said, he said, no, here. to something. The ship, Merriweather. Yeah, 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 I know. Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. Way it looks to me, there's a container below deck. They're guarding it for the government, keeping it off the books. Serious military technology, most like. Yeah, of course. I just found a manifest. They're testing something out at sea. It's gotta be that. Now, get back to work. The TPI conglomerate ain't thriving. There's only one man responsible. Of course, yeah. But I'll start pulling all the intel I can get on Merriweather at the same time. I, I got a file here somewhere. of all things holy. I, I, I tried to stop it, but it just kept coming and coming. Oh, it's, there, there, Wade. Look, 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 it's a, Betty, you're just not cut out for honest work, all right? <laughs> did, did you get what you needed? Yeah, 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 yeah more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. All right, this will do. That woman ain't even fine. Ain't no one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. That's oh, a uh, low self-esteem, Wade. We got to build him back up. Now. <clears throat> and there, perfect. All right, so. Based on my observations, I'd say these Merryweather security cocksnots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container below deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. Their land and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. Need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing us a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that, too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, Bring it back here and find out what it is. Here? To the Congo? Aye, so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore? It's gotta be the container, right? You and Floyd can help, and we'll bring along Michael and his unpaid intern. Okay, all right. Whoa. 
What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Yep. Wade no. here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever going to smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right? And you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man. Smell him. No. Smell him. Uh, uh, Trevor, Trevor, uh, you're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. You damaged Deborah. Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide, huh? If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No bath! I'm sorry. Sometimes it just goes up like that. It'll go down. Ah, Trevor. Hey. Mikey, hey, listen. Loving it here in LS. Really settling in. Getting my first enema tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I heard about some action. Yeah, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, you bet it's okay. <laughs> Listen, I gotta do a little prep work, but so far it's looking pretty tasty. I'll need you to bring along that kid you've been hanging with, Franklin. Now, nah, don't you step foot in this yard! Why? It's half my house. Now, I'm gonna call the police. For what? Disloyalty, boy. Disloyalty? What is you talking about? Don't act like you don't know what it is, homeboy. Yo, you ain't been to the set, ain't came to none of the meetings. Mm, hanging out with old men, ignoring your homies, acting all superior? Your mama would turn over in her grave, boy. Mm -hmm. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gangbanger? Gangs is positive. That's all we got, my nigga. That's our heritage. Ain't nothing positive about your crazy ass. Man, where Tanisha at? She got more sense than to hang out with your sorry ass. You know you always been like this, boy. I say left, you say right. I say become a doctor. You say become a patient. I say... Who is that? Hello, Missy. Wow, Franklin. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise, Franklin's housemate. And aunt, my mother's old dried up ass Shut sister. the fuck up! Yeah, shut the fuck up! Here, darling, why don't you go get yourself something nice, okay? Oh, thank you. <laughs> is, is it seven dollars? I said something nice, not expensive. You want to be a greedy fucking cow, huh? No. Now get the fuck out of here, all right? You men are all the same. Man, what the fuck you doing here? Here with the boy, the boys. What? I'm fucking new in town. I'm making friends, all right? Now let's party. Look, I had plans on getting some rest until this clown and my aunt came and fucked that up. My nigga, I just came over here to holler at you about the little thing. Man, I said I'm tired, dawg. What fucking thing? I love things. I'm the king of things. I ain't talking to you, homie. Hey, let's go do something about the thing, okay? What thing? I'm talking about the little stress thing, man. Fucking beautiful. Perfect. It's a gangbang. Let's go. Come on. Oh, come on, man. This fool, man. What is man, just come on. Where's this thing happening? Down Grove Street. We shooting shit up, spraying some motherfuckers. I can drive by with the best of them. Behave yourself, man. Lamar, what's happening? What you and stress set up? We buying weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga. For real. Not this real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you and stress concerned. Man, this is an investment opportunity. You got to speculate to accumulate. Ooh, first rule of business. Hey, since we're out here banging, either you got some dust. Fool want to get butt naked? <laughs> I'll get whatever it takes me, old boy. Homie's crazy, man. Homie live up here. Hey, look, everybody be cool, man. Lamar about to do his thing, all right? Hey, be 
on point, this fool janky. Courier service. Packets to collect. You got the grip? Present and accounted for. <laughs> you like that, huh? Sample? <laughs> now we talking. <laughs> <laughs> My throat getting numb already. So we good, nigga, right? Well, let's go. How about a taste? No, man, we leaving. I want a taste of the other side of the brick. Now you heard what your boy said. You're leaving. Hey, give me the, give me the back. Whoa, what the fuck? Did we ask for a key? Or a fucking ounce! Man, that's motherfucking drywall! Hey, we got some motherfucking buyer's remorse out here! Damn, you can't fucking hustle a hustler! Fuck ah. All you motherfuckers are dead! Rose like that! We got to move! Fuck! They rough men! We on foot now! Get the fuck out of here! Run, chop, run! Chop, run. Is this the guy keeping you out of the gas chamber? Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend. shit, man. Yeah, I know. I take speed mostly. Look at me. Boom! Best shape of my life. Yeah. Yeah. I could still take you, sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged, not because you're in good shape. Hey, why don't you stick doing fucking crunches and feeling bad about yourself, all right, pork chop? Hey, fuck you. You know, I'm beginning to think that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Jesus. I just said the same fucking thing to my wife. You see his face that last time I popped him. Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher. <laughs> <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, mm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep bastard away from me. No, 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 Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No, 
Now our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. I don't. I don't know anything. I don't know. I already told nothing. Nothing. I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. You know? You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know. What did you tell them, and what did they tell you? I, I, hmm? told, them, I told them what I tell you. Uh huh. What? I. Hey. This whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because no, no, I'm tired no. of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. Hey, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know? Go for a drive. Wait, wait. No. You get to work, and, uh, I'm not here. The guy's your neighbor. Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation, look out! And he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt. Probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. Do you remember after the... You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. This is bullshit. This place? Davey. They've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him, just to make sure? We're silencing someone. We're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Some water? Hey, you want a coffee? Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Wait! What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No! Who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Mm -hmm. Huh, please? Look at me, please. You're in the sausage factory, all right? Make some sausage. Not the rich! Be gentle. 
Please don't hit me! It's so heavy! I'm rude! Take it like a man! <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right into the Western Highway. Oh, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of it. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want to do. Loosen him know. up! No, please. How are we gonna know if the intel's good if it ain't acquired under duress? Not the flyers! No, 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 no! Uh. Uh. Oh, well, you ain't gonna be chewing steak anytime soon. I don't want to get out of here. Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped. The second That's what we were afraid of. So, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. This talk. guy we're after, what does he look like? I was built. I was height, middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. Ah! Sorry, too oh. late. Trevor, show our contestant what he's won today. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. Woo! 
They'll be doing this shit at elementary schools in no time. It's legal, bro. Legal. It's a torture. It is. I was drowned. My mouth. I, I was drowned. Oh, say this. I got blood in my mouth. <laughs> I want to Look at me. I am a genuine government man. It's all in your head, Ferdinand. Don't worry. I don't see what all the fuss is about personally. Enough! Dry him off! Let's get him upright. The blackness is terrible! The government knows what's best for you. Then the government should kill me! So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 no
Wait a second, Mitsubo. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Hey, what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. <coughs> Oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I don't want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 no. You have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message! You're a torture advocate! Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything! Exactly! Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. Here we be. Run! You're free! Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? Now look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. Right. You 
you don't. Merryweather are employed by the richest, greediest scum on the planet to shit on the poorest and the neediest. So we are going to enjoy shitting on them! Oh, great. I look forward to that. Okay, well that's more like it. Floyd, you there? Uh, yes, sir. I'm on the crane. To the surface, and I'll bring you shoreside. All right. I'm here. Oh, Jesus. It's just down the road, Los Santos Marine, past the shipyards. Is that sub covered properly? It'll be fine if we just get there. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I, I'm certainly not being short. I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew onto a score, you gotta be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. You threatened and cajoled and tricked me. You don't want to cut? Just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. Deborah's home. No cut for you, no cut for Deborah. You're sure it'll be okay there? Um, sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. Now get out of here. Wait. So, it looks like we're ready to go with everything. Floyd well, don't think it's a good idea for us to meet at the condo, so maybe we should... Tell Floyd it is a good idea to meet at the condo. It's a great idea. And tell him we need chips and dip and prostitutes. We handled your little immigration problem, whatever the fuck it was. We're straight. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You killed people, you tortured people. Here's Trevor. Gee, you right. Looky, looky, huh? A bunch of government shitbags and their favorite stoolie. What's he been telling you? No, oh, he just said how you guys were happy to help the government in any way you can. Oh, really? Huh? Because I was told that if we helped out with that thing, which we did, then our past indiscretions would be forgotten in a haze of patriotic fervor. Who told you that? Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! <laughs> oh, you're good. The three cunts! Listen, we need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. But the agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid! It's a major problem. And now they've secured some... funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? We think they're gonna use this money to finance a war on our streets, and we need you boys to requisition that money for us. The bonds are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> it's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're gonna be doing pat-downs at the airport before those fucking clowns are done with us. You know, fuck you. Hey, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Now, how the fuck we gonna get this done? I don't know.
I got it. Classic blitz play. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck the block, tow truck sack them. We get some disguises, and we're golden. We just gotta hope like hell these are the kind of agency men that don't carry a panic button with them. If they are, we deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. I will keep my eyes peeled, General! Thank you, Michael. Hey, no problem. No, really. Wait, boy! Hey, you guys, I'm expecting company, all right? I want this place cleaned. Wade, you tidy. Floyd, massage. Uh, no, no, I really don't. Do you want me to get my dick out again? No, 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 no. Does anyone want that? No, no, you're right, you're right. You're... Hey, bro, what's up? Oh, hey, bro, you're late. Nine years fucking late. You know, you're so late, in fact, that you have no right to call me, bro. Is that clear? Uh, shut the fuck up. You're like a broken fucking record. Oh, yeah? Well, you're like a shit. Exactly like a shit. Where's the assistant? On his way. Yeah, I can't idolize this. You know, <laughs> creeps. Yo! Yo, Frankie, we were just talking about you. Ah, oh, nattering. You know how it is. Yeah, whatever, man. So what are we doing here? We're working, amigo. Taking a score. Yeah, I've done most of the planning, and uh, I think we're gonna literally make out like bandits on this. Did you talk to Lester? Yeah, yeah, I called him. It's, apparently he's in the hospital having his vagina cleaned or some shit. He's got a wasting disease. 20% saved. No, that's not how we work. Well, you'll forgive me, but that's how we're gonna work this time, all right? We're doing it my way, because as I recall the last time when we did it your way, we all got shot at, you got buried, resurrected, turned into a twat, and Brad ended up in a fucking prison! Yeah, and Lester told us not to do that job, but we did it anyway. And Lester seems pretty good, man. Would you shut the fuck up, all right? And you, Michael, owe me, all right? So this time, we do things my way. <laughs> yeah, and what about after this? After this, we think about things. So what's the plan? Easy. We are sinking a freighter into Los Santos Harbor, all right? Now, Daddy's little helper, you're gonna be on the bridge, all right? You're the lookout. Now, you, you're boarding the freighter and planting charges. Me, I'm running the deep water salvage operation with a little help from my friends. You, fat man, of course, well, you're not one of those friends. Which part is easy, though? Oh, for fuck, where'd you get the pussy, Mikey? Man, fuck you! Ah, better! I like that! Fuck you! Good! Good! All right, now let's go make some money, ladies, huh? Brilliant. Don't be a dick. Oh, your wish is my commando, master! Let's go, Junior! Hey, Wade! Get Michael a wetsuit, or I right? take him to the boat. Oh! Stop dragging your heels, kid! We need some transport! I'm coming, man. I'm dropping you on the port city side of the Miriam Turner overpass, all right? Almost forgot. Here's the rifle with a the thermal scope. Almost forgot? I was kind of sold on, like, a well-organized job, planned out, with Lester's weird eye for detail. I got an eye for details, kid. Little details like your brick of flow being drywall. Uh, okay, man. I'm grateful for that, dog. But, but buying cocaine is a whole different thing from sinking a container ship into a harbor. Not really, kid. It's all about what's inside. Cool, so what's the thing, man? I don't know what it is, but I know it's important. You heard of Merriweather? Uh, yeah, maybe. Merriweather Security Consulting, the company our government uses to fight its wars and protect its shady interests all over the planet. They're the army? They're like the army, only they're private. So they cost more. Anyway, they've just been cleared to take government contracts on U.S. soil. And what's one of the first on the list? This container at the port? Exactamundo! So it's gotta be valuable, right? Anyway, it doesn't matter, because your job is not to understand. It's to shoot at people who try to stop us. I'll stop the car in the median here. Get out, find your spot on the side of the bridge, and call Michael. All right, man, whatever.
Hey, dog, I'm in position. Let me know when you're ready. All right, F, I'm in position. Damn, that's a long way up. So make sure I don't run into any trouble when I get there. Fucking Trevor. All right, I got you, homie. Hey, yo, there's two guards. These are bad dudes, right? I read up about these fools online. Yeah, they're a nasty bunch. It's clear, man. Climb aboard. Things I do for old friends. I got four bombs to plant, kid. Look out for me while I do it. There's some serious manpower on this ship. Hey, ain't you gonna set up that bomb? First bomb, ready to go. Moving up to position two. Suspicious person, identify yourself! Hey, do this quick, man. I don't know how much backup they got below deck. I can do it quick or I can do it right, okay? Go, man, I got you covered. Get guys on the main deck! Say whatever you want about Trevor, but shit, he got it done. Yep, let's hope so. Hey, is that Lester? What? Hey, man, what the fuck you doing here? You should be in bed. Yes, I should be. I would be if certain known associates weren't busy making themselves enemies of the state. You know, the FIB, Merriweather, IAA. You could fuck with them all day long, but... When you try and steal an experimental super weapon and sell it to the Chinese, you and everyone you ever knew is gonna be fucked in the ass, you fucking chumps! Ho hold on, man. A super weapon? The Chinese? What? What'd you think is in there? I thought he talked to you. All right, man. So what now? Well, maybe I can organize to have it taken back and found amongst the wreckage. Whoa! Holy fuck, Lester Crest! Holding on and looking good, huh? Do you have any idea what you did here? Yeah, I pulled a score. What, are you jealous because you didn't get your 20%? If that thing doesn't go back, then we will all end up on every watch list in the entire planet. Watch list? So fucking watch! So they don't watch, they kill. Idiot, we'll all be dead within a week. Think! All right, listen. Take the truck, take a guy, do what you gotta do. Trevor? All loaded up. Uh, Trevor? 
Great. Then you and the patient can take it all back. Right fucking now! So you mean to tell me this shit was all for nothing? Man, it's the hood all over again. Fuck. Come on, Franklin. You owe me, Michael. I am owed. What you gonna do, huh? I think of something. I gotta get Franklin some work, too. I'll take this. Yeah, yeah. Lots of mouths to feed, amigo. Tell me about it. What's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I sourced worked to child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planting lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. Now, he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using mollusks, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now... Consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm going to make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. I'll walk away. I'll stay here till you're gone. Get what you give out, Mr. Lowry. We got a shooter! Take cover! Shot fire! Shot fire! Done. I know. Good work. All right. Well, she. Let me know about the next thing. Will do. But before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and new property. So we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man. Whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh shit. Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy-ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking. That probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours. Enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. Okay, you know Redwood cigarettes? 
Sure, the cigarette that built America. They've rigged a jury to throw a class action lawsuit that would cover the treatment costs of thousands of emphysema sufferers. There are four corrupt jurors on Redwood's books. I'll send you the details. Oh, and we only have a few hours to make them disappear. The court case is tomorrow morning. Is that all, dog? Shit, that's quite a favor. And that's quite a house you're living in. Get this done quickly, and I'll try to throw in a sweetener as well. Now, I'd advise picking up some long-range hardware to get this job done. You'll be helping a lot of people with this, Franklin, including anyone who might have a sizable investment in, say, uh, debonair cigarettes. Bro, this is muscle heads only. I ain't got much time left. It's done, homie. All of us. Very good. I'll be in touch. Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't, Doc? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what? Look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. And we call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot I told you about him. God. Don't, don't worry. Everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turned things over, you know, start it again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you turned things over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But that's not the point. I mean, I, I wanted to. That is the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard one to explain. 
The FIB is making me. Let's just say one man's patriotism is another man's atrocity. My old pal Trevor, he's got me stealing nukes or some shit off government contractors. My wife's left me, my kids too. My fucking son drugged me. I tried to kill a yoga teacher. You're giving me facts. You're not telling me how you feel. I worry about your emotional health, Michael. Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? <sighs> I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just all of a sudden get up on top of me, right fucking on top. And then I lose my shit, and I hurt people, and then I feel bad about it. I, I'm a fucking prick. Remorse is good, but not as good as taking control before you act out. Just don't like myself very much, Doc. And that's the truth. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means that's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. And buddy, chin up, okay? Excuse me! You ready to do this? Yep, got everything we need. Okay, so move already. When you get the stuff, bring it to Devin Weston. You met him at our internal rendition site. He's a major player in the investment world, so treat him with respect. I'll show him as much respect as a friend of yours deserves. Hey, what's cracking? What's he at? Right there. So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. hey. All right. Hey. So, listen up. Here's the plan. Hey, right, Trevor. Yeah. I want you in this position up here. Okay, yeah, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be right here in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley in a tow truck. Hope is they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes' guy. It's all a little hopeful, homie. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down. Okay. When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, you the professional, dog. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. The masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go, go.
All right, T. I'm in position. What's the ETA? Hmm. There they are. Incoming. Get ready to do your thing. All right, Mike. Move it. Get the truck in position. Block both lanes of traffic. Just stop in the road and stay there. All right, I pulled up. Get ready, Frank. Did Public Works change their schedule? Ramming speed, bitch! Shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Package for Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston? Come on. Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. 
There you go, there you go. Boom! So long, motherfucker! Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores. Big ticket cars. Major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Yeah, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. Have a good one, boys. Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very wealthy. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all, right, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. All right. Me and Trevor will be there, too. I promise you, it's a step up for you. A real opportunity. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is gonna kill me. All right, so what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. All right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> hey, Solomon. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, 
in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts. So if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Gentlemen, how you like this space? It's gonna be an EDM paradise. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here, just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. Mr. Richards has been worried sick. Club ain't open, Snowbird. Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> My people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah, okay? Sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. Just ho hold on. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Just jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. Still phoned in. You're lucky you're working at all. <laughs> you're kidding me, right? I am an artist, dude. I'm you're apologizing. When you see Solomon, you say, sorry for the misunderstanding, sir. And you will always, always appreciate the opportunity he's given you. Now, where am I putting this thing down? Solomon's office. Come on. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week. How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fill a piss test at any point on this shoot. <laughs> what a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy, you're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art, a simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip, I love ya. So Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I appreciate, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Whew. 
Mmm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Hey, hey how about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. Hey, we coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. I'll tell you about that later. They gonna stop with us back here. We gotta get right up behind them. Suspect has entered the Braddock Tunnel. Officer T maintains his pursuit. car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit! Get the fuck out of here! Go on! Hey, man, you know how hard it was to try slow enough to stay with these fools? Let's have a real race. Well, you talk a good game. Okay. Just don't scratch the car. Speak. Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey, just spoke to Devin's man-woman lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South L.S. for you idiots to show up. Yeah, right, fool! I'm way out in front, guys. I wouldn't write off Uncle T! Hey, Frank. Yeah? What'd I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, have you 
say so. You know what, right before I met you, I was boosting rise and racing. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, oh, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. <laughs> hey, look. Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they work. It don't sound that different, to be honest. Uh, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like, to you, what you were to me. I see your house, I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. What's your angle, Mike? What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just a smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing a job. And leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not all. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, right, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan in Howick. Follow him to the lockup. Someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye bye gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Oh, you're off, you kid, you 
with the other. Come in, Franklin. We're in position over Howick Avenue. What's the name of the suspect? The dude's name is Chad Mulligan. All right? Chad Mulligan. Roger that. Or something? Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's yours, man. Enjoy! I mean, that car's a bit flashy for my taste. Suspect ah, down! Fine work, ground unit! Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dawg. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. God, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. Oh, there she is! <laughs> you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this. Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. 
No, don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just take any car and go! What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work? This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, it's my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The yes. truth. Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, but some people, they no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. Uh. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Uh, by you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. But does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some... Files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's the pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want the drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right. Mike, Mike, get here. I got some poor bastard's dirt bike. Yeah, okay. Well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there. To that guy's house. Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff! Those weird little artifacts! What? The little fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up! We'll clear two, three million on those, easy! Perverts will pay anything for hope! We weren't casing the joint! We didn't agree to a fee for this job, so what's it all about? Okay, the guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him. But it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The oh, fuck? All right, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down, and I'll be ready. T, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet.
I got her. Southwest of the city. Gotta shoot in front to compensate for the speed of the jet. Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. Change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works. A little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ah, I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. Where is he? his car piece of turd huh no wonder people are stabbing him in the back what happened cheap bastard you know i really don't know why you mess around with people like that mike i mean really i Trevor! don't answer a fucking question i asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work then he kind of got a little angry so i admit i kind of got a little angry did you kill him what kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Oh, now, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know? It's a, a very relaxing little spot. A little getaway, if you will. A cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So, you could get in wardrobe and play the part, or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. You know how many fights... Oh!
You need to get on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus, are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him. What is the point of building all these sets? Hey, we got the Brandon's the head on the guy's body. You, oh, you hit that! Yeah, you hit that. the wheel i need to get the fuck out of here they're coming studio security are all over you oh fuck we're gonna lose these guys what do you mean the whip i could buy this car for what i make in a morning i think you underestimate the value of this automobile or overestimating your own tap uh i think you're underestimating what i get paid you get paid a couple a couple million for a morning's work Shit. Sack my agent. Yeah, shit. Let me out of here! Stockholm Syndrome won't work on me, fuckball. Look, I respect you as an artist and a human being, but I got other priorities. Let me out! I've been abducted by a crazed fan! Girl, please! I like some of your work, but don't get ahead of yourself. What's wrong with you? Didn't your parents love you when you were a child? My dad disappeared. My mom was a crackhead. But that ain't what this about. My parents loved me so much they put me in a little lazy surprise campaign when I was three. Mm, good for you. I didn't work till I was teen. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? Oh, I'm another sacrifice to the god of celebrity! This ain't a sacrifice. It's a carjacking. Now calm the fuck down. Everyone wants a piece of me. Directors, agents, fans, you, you taking the whole thing. This ain't about your ass. It's about this ride. Where are the paparazzi to meet them? If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can change his route and meet you there. Yeah, okay. I got the car and it was messy. That's fine with us, but your associate, Michael DeSanta, has done some work at the studio and he might not be so happy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What kind of shape is the car in? Well, whatever. We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spike and ejector seat need replacing too? Spikes, yeah. But the seats is fine. Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. <laughs> <laughs> You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! <laughs> practically. Oh shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set! Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him. 
and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey, Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> Listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And I, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Meriwether. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition it. Fantastic. Let's go. Come in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. And watch her, OK? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go. The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over the airstrip. But right. what are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. we got to meet them in the air. I, uh, OK. Well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit. Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards, merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci. I want country clubs and a depressed wife with blonde hair and a hot little secretary who bounces on my boy. Maybe if you'd buy into Oscar's business, I'm hearing there's a lot of bounce in the firearms sector. Well, I heard there's a lot of bounce in your head. Just the plane I need to take on a heavily armed, tax-funded militia. Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the CV. I got the cargo plane right ahead of me. You're gonna use those weapons for no good, King. You'll be better in our hands. shot at this? I thought I said that. You did. It's just I don't see how you're going to... Ah, you'll see. You're too high. Drop down before they think you're an ain't an aberration. I'm in control of this. You know, the cargo plane's got four jets, a 200-foot wingspan... Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm in a crop duster. This is something I'm acutely aware of. Enough. You're on the radar, Trevor! Move altitude!
air traffic control. There has been a change of personnel and destination on the Meriwether jet. We are now landing at Mackenzie Field. Comply immediately. This is Captain V telling you to stroke it, pal. Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God. The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea. But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking <laughs> easy. But uh, this, this here is my place, and my work paid. For my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Got yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open! See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen. I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes! Woo! 
Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. Fucking Christ. All right. I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on. You're driving us up to the bank. What now? We got a funding problem. So we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital and tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why don't be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon? The skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? <sighs> Come on, man. Knock it off. What? I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Michael will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. Okay, let's take a look at this bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> it's remote, it's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. 
Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. This is the score. Right. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay, I brought my police scanner. Now drive over to the gas station opposite the bank, and we'll monitor chatter. All right. Dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby, and it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Toledo Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, guarding dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass! I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, He says, what took you so long? Had to let you win. <laughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, right? Then you're going to be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a... a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Good. I'm going to stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little, uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice? Choose someone good. Gus Moda. He's a pro. Not much else to say. You sure this is the guy? Come to my barbecue. That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I'll get a motel, thanks. Why don't you show? Fine, I'll give you a ride. 
Adios, amigos. Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom, too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Please, son. <laughs> you want a sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. Oh, man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low carb. Uh, fuck you. Uh, where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit, the picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's gotten you real far. Oh, yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you've gone. Man, ten years in the sun, your brain has melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? That I fucking kill only on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. sane, 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 oh, okay. sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know. But I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you, he hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here? By calling L.S. and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so Fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. I apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, huh? I might die. Hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else, then to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boss. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Don't fuck stay it up. out too late. Punishment dungeon. Seven thousand model wine cellar. If he's back in Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about him? Shit. They see us, man. We gotta stay on. <laughs> no, Chuck. We can't deal with them yet. It's too many of them. Hey, man, me and Chop on these punks. We coming up to WH, north of Two Miles. All right, all right, the O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your best Pucci condo when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business-stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? 
because these dudes is rolling home. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. Chop. Let's do this shit. Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed? They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support like right fucking now. Don't worry. Incoming! Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's. Don't 
feel good, huh? Helping a friend in need? Come on, Chop. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on the blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we're gonna borrow this from here back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back at Cast Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. Trevor! Martin! You know, I've been thinking about it, and I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. And frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you soon. It's, it's, it's not inappropriate. It's, it's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. First you take a hostage against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her. Are you nuts? She's, she's a 60-year-old housewife. Ah, she's 57. And she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss ah. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. Oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them, and now that they're gone, you miss them. Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey. You mother... Hey! Why? Enough! You got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. Here's the shot. We're going to Palato Bay, and we're going to do this thing. Any questions? Comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. That crazy motherfucker was with us now. He would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in, you grab the tape, <clears throat> you rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Is that a uh, work for everyone? Great. Let's go. Let's get this done. Polito Bay. You ever hit a bank before, Franklin? Yeah, I was the driver on the job my boy Lamar pulled. Guess it's the same kind of shit we doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? Shit, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Come on. Everyone remembers their first score. Shit, not me. Huh? Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10G. Yeah, things were easier back then. Yeah, 25 years ago. Jesus! You, generic goo. What was your first bank score? Okay, we're doing this? Uh, Robbie slash Sebastian Khan, I guess. Let me think. First we your lick. Uh, all right, yeah, armor card. When we broke down in these slots, know what I'm saying? The honey coming. Yeah, well, how much you take? 200, 1,000. Oh, big dog. First time out. Had to send most of it up the ladder, yo. Repping Bagos, homie? Yeah, so that was when I went independent. Man, I hear you on that one. Hey, your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are, on our way to almost certain death, bonding, Pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here, soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember... If he don't remember? I'm supposed to trust this man with my life, and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job? Well, how about you? Why don't you share with the group? I'm here. I'll back the facts. The check's cash place? I went in, took him for eight grand, walked out. Yeah. 
It was a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe he ID'd me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe I was out in four, and that, children, is why we don't leave witnesses. That, children, is why you don't rob people that you know. <laughs> yeah. Franklin, share. Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man, shit. Okay, the score was like two stacks, man. 2G, take home on your first gig? Fuck, that ain't bad, man. Man, the whole score was two stacks. Only I didn't see none of that shit. Die pack went all home. Money was useless then. Die pack? <laughs> you amateur! I knew I shouldn't have told you shit. Hey, Franklin, we all gotta start somewhere. Last time I tell your ass something. Keeping it very Ow, oh, come on. <laughs> Don't be so cold, man. Learn to laugh at yourself. You're in danger of turning into this man. Who, me? Yeah, you. Wouldn't laugh, wouldn't hang out. All right, Frank, we're gonna drop you up here, okay? When you hear it kick off, get ready, because we're gonna want to go ASAP. I'm gonna get away, man. I'll do it. All right, you know where you gotta be? I got it damn. I'll bring a die pack just for you! All right, we all good? Let's hit them! Let's do it! On the ground! This is a stick-up! You getting off on this, little man? Today's going one of two ways, friends. Everyone on the floor, now! You and you, out from behind the counter. That's it, hands in the air. Stay down! Ah, keep an eye on our trusted employee. Okay, you got the crowd. Cops should be here soon, so keep an eye Just out. Just try it. <laughs> I think I've got food. Get the door down, Em. Just sit this out! If I ever meet this alarm guy, i fucking shoot him. Not if I get to him first. Yeah. Stay back! We got hostages! Tell the sheriff the 211 is confirmed. We're gonna need everything we got down here. <laughs> Sheriff's here. We never could have beaten that response. There's other ways of beating it. Move it! Follow up procedure! You know you're surrounded, so we ain't getting a ride to the airport! I don't care if they surrender. I'm killing me some bad guys. Now let the hostages go, and uh, we'll talk like gentlemen. Time to face the music! Sweet.
another escape room. Can you find a vehicle? Something might stand up and touch by. There's some construction around the way. Alright. Just what we need. More heat. More power! Friendly, Agent Sanchez. Our very own corrupt G-Man in training. You gotta be careful, buddy, all right? Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, <coughs> you'll be shot, amigo. Very amusing. Yeah, if you're expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay, and here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh yeah, it's a huge fucking win. Woo! Monsters. I'm out. Agent Haynes will get in touch with you once Operation Save the Worlds ago. Get your crew together, okay? Fucking punk. All right. We should probably split up. They're gonna be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Come on, Franklin. Man, I'll holler at you home. Uh -huh. Seat belt. Serious. What a shit up. Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker. Living out here, away from the man. From what I can tell, you're like a high school athlete. Living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat. And now, you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand. You understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. Tell Trevor the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. Yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Well, hey, watch your mouth, boy, all right? It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. 
Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, oh. baby! Yeah! Oh, this better be <laughs> fucking good! Oh. Oh, Jesus! Fuck. Ah, oh, man, we've talked about this hygiene thing before, bro. I invite you into my home, this is how you repay me? It's like living with a fucking horny skunk. Get a boat! And meet me under Rat and Canyon Bridge. I'll be on the earpiece. Tugga, 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 tugga. Mike, oh yeah, another thing for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay, I'll pick them up when I'm back in the trailer. Back in the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting changed. Oh, 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 getting changed? What have, what have you turned into? gonna be on to us. Em! Em, I ain't far out! You under the bridge! Approaching the inlet now! I'll power through to the bridge! This is quite a spot you pick. Enjoy it now, because it's about to start raining fire. Man didn't even get a trial, just popped up in Supermax. Ron organized transport for us. Oh, his and hers, huh? Because of your independent spirit. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. I... It's perfect. 
Perfect for fucking what? For squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be dead men in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is my job, not your call to make. Nah, nah, your job. Fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get your own. Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Verging suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. You remember the dreams? Couple kids pulling jobs, the big one. I know it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again. With Lester and Franklin on board. We can do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. Yeah. Right. You keep the case. Fuck me. Okay, hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every day. Inch of the way, all right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying guy. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. The big one! The big one! Hello. Tally's on the line, too. Hey, Trev. All right. I need your whole crew over at Cape Catfish. We're moving on the chemical weapons plant. Nah, 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 nah. I just gave something to Lester. I need to deal with some stuff, get back to Los Santos. Just, uh, give me a week. We got the equipment with your Polito money. The gangbanger's already on the way. The window's open, my friend, and you are jumping out of it. Shit. Shit! Los Santos ain't going anywhere, bud. What's going on, ladies? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael, business. Uh, All right? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh -huh. You know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us, please it's just fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Oh, oh, oh hold on, man. Could y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a freaking lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, Fuck uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And die? Fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on. Come on, Mr. Leisure Wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency, and they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> all, right, so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 there is no getting it straight, that's the point. Now we're doing this! You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us! What size flipper you wear? Me? 
Agent Norton. Been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we save for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Go down the coast. The facility's a few clicks south of us. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here goes. Ready? I was born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. Lead the way. Bank robber, your job is to keep this covert and non-lethal as long as you can. Against the wall, quick! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. Shock him, Michael! Oh. Yo, who are you? Void his bows, bank robber! You don't have the balls! Okay! Now hit the elevator! Flight card. Alright, we go! How you feel about this? I feel pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Eyes right! Stay on top of this! We're fine! Move on! Two lab geeks, gotta deal with them! There's a lab rat in with the toxin. Let's do this. Open the door. Who are you people? Door can only be triggered internally. What's that? I'm on it. You, hands up. 
Back up. Back up. And freeze. We get collateral. You might be safe, but Big Brain here isn't. Open. The special agents have the door. Go in there and secure our nerve. This will make me the most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Oh, man. Thank you, federal government. Hold by the door! Man, these things are pissed! It's almost like they've been experimented on! Then we gotta move on! Move away from the door! Final search! Let's get that hot sauce from the fridge, Reinforcements should be arriving. Wouldn't be surprised if they had the whole county on lockdown. Yes, we're... Here we go. Get her on ice before the sell by. <sighs> okay, steady. Ah, easy done it am. Just as I was getting used to having the apocalypse in my pocket. There you go. Phillips is on his way. Good. Get this thing ready to move. I'm just a couple of clicks out. Is the package ready? Package is ready. Get over here, man. I can't believe they spent the tank from the Polito job on this chopper. It's a flying pig rig. And we need a flying big rig right now. We missed the window! HC response team's already in the building! It's never too late! We're going! Let's go! It's too risky, Bandito! That bird goes down and takes half the West Coast with it! You know what? If you're done puking up excuses, how about we come up with a solution? Okay, okay! All right, yeah, uh, you go, I'll stay in cover! Fuck it, fine by me. And the dead bodies? I'm lucky I'm not one of them! Come on! Let's go! Me, special agent, I got this covered. Detain this man. Fuck you, I should detain you. I just took a bullet from my country. Time to go. Bring us up. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Ah, huh? you and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What's this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. Wonderful time, Trevor. But we both know I made a vow to my husband. I know! You have a great pain inside you. But you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy, so sad in my life. 
You have a beautiful way with words. I'm <laughs> sorry. Everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! The other wise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Good friends. Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I miss you already. What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. P please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that, Floyd? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> ah, Floyd! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Can I come in? Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap. Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. Mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Deborah? Interesting lady. Yeah. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. Oh, I know exactly where to take you. I could run in and get Floyd and Debra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd, then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, what you got all over yourself? You're all red. You got... you got syrup? Yeah! Syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like Kara. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with 
Gaiki Bell and Kush Tronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was... The last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to the quarry and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around I mean, There's a pattern here. Look, this is it. So, this is where Floyd is going to meet us at Strip Club? Oh, yeah. That guy like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, yo, what are Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentleman's Club. All right, message Franklin. What would really turn me on is you wearing clown face. You've been lonely, you feel hardened, step from to Hey, before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, Happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Got it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we, uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Approximately 1530. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible. 
possible hijack point. So hey, you gotta look out, bro. Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit rods, general vibe. All right. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Look, dawg, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well, uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something I can help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike. About it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Busting Brad out of the clink. Excuse me. How do you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the jewel store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that. Looking for a big asshole. Right? It'd be 
feels like they've been digging this tunnel forever. Looks good, looks good. Hold it. Just a minute. All right, I think I've got enough information to work with. Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know, no. sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know, you are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back, all right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'M YOUR FUCKING NIGHTMARE! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead! You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! Hey, come on, where you going? You know where I'm going, fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza, fuck everything that stands for right here. This is insanity! Oh, no. No, it's clear and reason thought. Finally! Come on, come back, we'll talk! I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies! Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything. Turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Oh, How do you do it? And the game is up. I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, right? Save your fucking breath. Trevor, come on. Fuck you, Michael. I will. Trevor? It's great to, uh... They're a plane I can use. Get me across country. Sure. Sure. We got one fueled up for a trip south of the border. I'm taking it. Is everything okay, man? Everything is not okay. Nothing has ever been okay, but I gotta see it for myself. I'm gonna see an old friend, all right? You're where I think you are, buddy. I don't know why I didn't see it. I guess I guess I didn't want to. Fuck! Maybe I knew all along. I'm gonna find out for sure, and I'm gonna do something about it. There's always something 
wrong with that job. What went down after, I guess. I guess I wanted to believe fucking... Fucking Flea Circus! Idiot, idiot! Idiot! I'm sorry, Trevor. Who you got in here, huh? As if I need to ask. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? Comes out in the light. I'll oh, give it a rest, Trevor. <laughs> There's nothing there! <sighs> this is it. Moment of truth. I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep ten years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger. You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! Ah! Fuck! Fuck! Joe Phillips! Mr. Cho has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's this event? How's this event? Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? Motherfucker.
Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County, but your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Ah, oh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? My Cody Santa. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? <laughs> My lover! Yeah, right! That's a tough break. I never want to double-cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him? I love him dearly. You saw this? Lamar Davis, what's up? I'm part of the team. That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car still a team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Polito Bay. All right, buddy. Fine. That's a long trip. The boost, homie. How'd it go? Any problem? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now. Like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride, I took the ride. No drama, no security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, shit. Line it up on the carrier, homie. The final piece of the puzzle. Yes, he is, homie. We straight. Boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust-ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Sonora Freeway. Pass Paletto Bay. Hey, it's, uh, cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah. Scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. They ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? And this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude? Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because... Like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There were no party. No party? I used the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. 
shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But you know, he wasn't a good guy he made out. Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar, above all else. Fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that! And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that makes a lot of fucking sense. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the black top making do. I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rocks. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just truckers are a symbol in this country. A part of its mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos, uh, maybe tied with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in Harlem. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Aw, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. Puppet, if you like. With Devin West's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude feels safe. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Oh shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on the ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? Okay, shit, I got an idea. Keep driving. I'm gonna take the tricked out JB700 and get rid of the tail. Man, Molly said there'd be some hardware on board. Shit, we'll see. Hey, don't forget the headset, homie.
to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in this situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Uh, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm. Last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? We are women! We are free! We're bringing an end to the patriarchy! We are women! Here are free! We are women! Here are shop! We are women! Have no doubt! We are women! We are free! We are Shut women. the are fuck up! Thank you. Oh, my N-word, huh? What What's up, up homie, huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. What a, is that how you act, huh, when a, when a friend makes a mistake, huh? No. Uh, really? Man. Oh, no. What? Oh, so what, it's just me getting hurt? Is that funny? No, huh? man. Well, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground, you laugh at me again. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you... You're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act, you little jumped up motherfucker! Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was funny, alright? I apologize. I accept. Your apology. Okay? All right, so... Let's hug it out. Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! Right? You're so fucking you're funny, gotcha! Huh? Oh, fuck! No, I'm not funny! I'm a fucking asshole! Oh, fuck! I had a difficult... childhood. Damn, man, you all right? I'm just fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have... I would have just... Look, fucking... Look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael? Fuck Michael! I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before. But what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped them. Yeah, and now it looks like they're holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's going to be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro, don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? What? What was that? Uh, nothing. 
Hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Mike was being held by a Chinese crew. Because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. I told you! He ain't my g -la. Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot! You're making a mistake! It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to coin every favor uh. I could in the Midwest. And then you killed several good uh. men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you! Kill him! Hey, Trevor hey. Phillips oh. isn't coming. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, hey, hey! Hey! Let me down! Let me... Fuck it down! Told me in the end. I didn't pitch you anyway. Oh shit. We're up there, and Trevor freaks the fuck out. He was about to kill me, Franklin. And then these Chinese guys show up, they take me, he fucks off. Alright then, I'll see ya. Show. Sure. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. Alright. Well listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go. What the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Man, before all that, I'm talking about the phase. Trev, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. All right, look, I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw it out. A future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <sighs> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? 
When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. I'm just saying. Put a beat down on an old man! Yeah, we don't take that! We have a deal hey, with them! Just about. Please, get those millennial ass wipes! With pleasure. You fuck what? Where are you going, tough guys? I beat you, so you beat an old man? Get out of this town! Slow down, you loopy prick! I thought you were a tough guy! Oh, how you like me now? I'm only a paraplegic! But you can't feel anything! Ah, uh, you're throwing me softballs. The rum runner. But, uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. Thank you. Yeah, it turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. Call me. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Yes, anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank Bye. God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't? 
We're all gonna fry, because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some uh, evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? No, 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 that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey! It's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go! Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Take us to the Bureau, parking garage entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that going to get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go or they ask for a day off. So we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. OK. They're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. Found a guy about to clock off. I've got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. And we'll follow him and see what we think. Here we are. Let's wait for him. That's the one. You know the drill. A couple of car lengths. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Go in and have a word. Harvey Molina. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. Jesus. You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. They'll fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey, I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball, I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. Bay, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do, if I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much? Government contracts, license to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. Ah, he's already here. Ah, 
Hey, what's the problem, dawg? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Yeah, Period. whatever, dawg. It's either this or Dylan dying bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere, so I'm going to need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip. Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out, but all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore and the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay, so lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job, and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hit! Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. I think Mom's at Bean Machine. So, what's been happening? You know, I don't know, stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been, it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Oh, okay. Here they are. Come on, let's say hi. Let's walk up and be civil. OK. 
caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more bull. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is too. A picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? what, what are you uh, 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 I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Was he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted. I'm meaning to say to you. Look, I just. What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic old drunken mess and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on, get up, you idiot. Uh, yoga? No, no yoga. Uh, I, I... All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too, later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's first eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of, okay, if you know what I mean. Here's the tattoo shop. Fucking maricon! You're fucking nothing! Hey, man. I'm looking for something hip that... You know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. Uh, I'm bi-coastal. I can't have metal on my fucking face. <sighs> ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah. Oh. Oh, just when I thought I was bigger than... Oh. Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? Ow! Oh, oh, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Oh, my God! Papa Bear! What's Daddy number two gonna think about this? Let's not get him involved. Let's do... Uh, that, that's, a, that's a clean needle, right? I don't need more Hep C. Oh. Just so you know, I've got a beachwear photo shoot next week. This is gonna make my man tits look enormous. Ah, you butcher! 
How about I draw those three little pubic hairs on here, too? Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, nice. Uh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror I can Oh, yeah, I'll get you a mirror, smash uh, you over the head with it. Too much. Uh, 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 snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one stop shop. What are you doing? Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it! Yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Never a family that needs therapy. My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctional. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian? You douche! Like Fabian? Around the head with a laptop? Oh yeah, like how? Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine bad To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? Just show up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. What? I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad. Yeah, do, do it. it. Do, do it. it. Enough, okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store that might like kill the mood fucking therapy let's do that shit hey how about you just let your mom and me talk okay we got some issues we gotta iron out and seeing as you two aren't into it you can just sit there and be quiet michael kids let's go inside okay Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? 
I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh, but... Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael, <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey, so you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right, then. Kids! So, will you drive us home? You know, there was a moment there. I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we got to work at fixing it. We do, all of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Alexander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or... hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our death, changing our names, all the line to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? Kids? Rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Ah, it's cracking. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. 
Now, Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Of course. Now, you'll need a, a hacker, a gunman, and a driver. The hacker won't come in with you, but they'll help you break the... Harris! <laughs> Good. Feminine touch. She'll be able to find any back doors they got. I don't know how long it'll take you to get into the network. The gunman's there to buy you the time you need. After what I saw this guy do to two dozen bad cops and a half a ton of armor, I'd take him anywhere. The driver will be waiting outside on getaway. They'll source a vehicle, so... Eddie Cho! Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you know who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Deva, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> and in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Ugh. Slow it down, Slick. You're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport work for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am. Today, look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. Look out! Oh. 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 In route. Air support in route. Ah, hello, my friend. Hey, what are you looking so cool, calm, and collected for? I guess because I'm not the one who's about to die based on some inappropriate decision I made a long time ago. Ah. Thanks for the moral support. I appreciate it. 
What the fuck ever happened to burying the past, huh? Any fool should be able to turn over a new leaf, right? Well, first, your new leaves aren't so very different from your previous leaves. It seems like they fell from a pretty similar tree. And second, the age of the internet, my ludite friend. Nothing is forgotten. There are no new leaves. Everything you do and don't do is recorded forever and used to beat you. This is the age of Judgment Day every day. And in the revelation of that, I'd say that you got off pretty lightly. What with all the, uh, the murders and the, and the thefts and... All right. This straight-talking new, uh, tell-it-like-it-is-reality guy act. Uh, it ain't working so well for me. In that case, um, don't worry about it. Everything is fine. You're a good man and a great father, really. It's more like it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. So what y'all talking about? The Internet age. <laughs> the Internet age? Oh, yeah. Man, ain't we got a hotty defended federal building to fucking rob? Yes, we do. Let's get after it. I'm gonna miss this place. If we're gonna do this thing and maybe take that score, well, I... I guess this has all got to be gone. All right, with the sad goodbyes. All right, you're Haynes' pilot, right? We got to wait until it's late enough, then we move in the chopper. You can take us up. I'll get on the stick when you jump. Come on, Franklin. Let's go, buddy. Got it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Better than an elevator. <sighs> ah, fuck. <sighs> We're in. The server room is in the southeast corner of the building. Find tools for an occasion. Let's get ready for the security. <laughs> Yeah, no shit. An explosion will tend to do that. I'm looking at the terminal. The programs are on your cell phone and connected to the machine. They better be. You need to access my computer. 
Your cell will show as an external device. First, run Hack Connect. It'll establish a connection with the servers. Concentrate. You gotta find this terminal's IP in the network's view. Okay, people. We're rewriting history. Security team's been deployed. Hear that? We gotta hold them up while this thing completes its process. Hey, we knew this was coming. Let's do this. I'm sticking here. Guarding the file transfer. I don't want to wait on that chopper. Bring it down to the building. Be ready to go. The device. All right, man. Got it. All right, people. Let's get the hell out of here. Cause he might be a <laughs> No, he didn't make it. Are you funny, huh, motherfucker? Well, let's get the fuck out of here. No, too high. The wind will tie us in a knot. We gotta keep moving. Come on, let's go. Hey. Fuck! Oh! You're on point. Are you? Back down, assholes! Let's get out of here! We low enough? Yeah, this'll do. Set up the rigs. All right, come on. What's going on on the outside? Ground units, air units, every unit in the state is on the way. I don't know if you have the firepower to hold them off. ETA is any minute. Well, then we better get gone before they show up. Let's get the fuck out of here, then. Okay, let's blow this joint. To the right, man. Look, by every flash of light in the city. They don't look like they're for us. Not yet, at least. And the air units see you on the side of the building. Look out, guys. Ah, crap! They got a bird! Shit! Shit! Info! Head down! We gotta take out that chopper! We're clear! Get off this thing! Set up the gear there and we'll drop through the street! Hey, that was a good call on the ambulance, Eddie. I saw what was going on in the Bureau, man. I wasn't gonna drive up in something obvious. That's the thinking we pay you to do. Oh, now we're clear, I can probably say I never expected to make it out of there. Yeah, sure, man. We had it covered. Oh, really? It was covered, was it? Uh, yeah. Lester had the plan. It was all set up. Yeah, we had a plan. Hold off the nastiest team of crooked FIB agents in the country while the last of the baby boomers pretends he's a hacker? Come on. It was hopeful. And then when the chopper crashed? Oh, man. I thought there was no fucking way. Why do you think Lester burned down the business? Hell, why do you think I'm doing it for nothing? And these clowns are getting paid? My cut's going to the kid's college fund, if that's any consolation. A couple more scores, they're taken care of. And I can think about getting out of the game. Yeah, hey, good luck with that. Hey, man, tell him you messing with him, Mike. Hey, I was semi-sort of serious. But joking once you reacted like that, all right? Chill out. Look, man, he was just messing with y'all. This is great sense of humor. The FIB people who put us up to this, they probably gonna pop him anyway to clean up loose ends. And if they don't, he got a homeboy named Trevor that probably will. Eddie, the place is up here. Can you ditch the vehicle and drop this guy where he wants to go? Hey, come on in, man, but... <laughs> Damn, Franklin! Oh, Jesus! Ah. Any longer, I was gonna torch this place, too. <laughs> hey, hey, you did it! We did it! Yeah! yeah. Fucking <laughs> it! Hey, where's my liquor at, dog? I got it. It's right here. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Here it is. Come here. Here. There you go. Man, you may be a conflicting, hypocritical, self loafing old bastard, dog, but there's no one else. I'd rather rob a federal building with me. Amen <laughs> to that. Thank you, boys. Cheers. 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 <laughs> <sighs> ah.
So, you want another drink? I think I better stay at least a little bit sober. I gotta deal with Davy and Dickwad yet. Put things to bed. Man, you want me to roll with you, dawg? No, no, I probably better do this alone. I mean, we did everything. We're all in this together, right? So as long as we all are not together, there's nothing they can really do to us. All right, see you, dawg. Take care. Then it's Trevor and I'm out. Oh, we're gonna need Trevor. Maybe you should give him a call now. Oh, fuck that. After I take care of this shit. All right, all right, well, take care of yourself. Frankie! Lester! Lester needs a drink! Unbelievable. What the hell? Keep cool, old baby. It's just a cop. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but... But you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? All right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. Uh, see? Davey, that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school. We like old-fashioned things. Newspapers. Celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy. You could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but... I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, come whoa! On, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you. We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Boys with the gun, down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? The fucking Merriweather. What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh, same goddamn leg. Go! Fuck! Bullshit! Mike, this is your frequency! That's RV in the end of the walkway, top of those stairs! I ain't going anywhere, Davey, until some more of these guys kill each other! here for the opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. T, you got the vantage point. Give Dave a hand. 
This is the guy who iced Brad. And would I ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. Payne's made it out of here, and there's another group of agents looking into our shit. Right now, you're not in a position to let our only friend in the Bureau get killed. Looks clear. D, make a play for that stone bitch by the pool. I'm coming down. There'll be cars in the lot. Put as much dirt between you and this place as you can. And do not contact me until you're absolutely sure you're clear. This one's mine. Good luck. Be careful, Davy. Gray, another chopper. Smoking, huh? Come on, come on. No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor. Listen, I've been meaning. To... Uh, you know, I've been meaning. I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been. What, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back, or that you were and always will be a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what Clear the fuck did you come back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head, but... If it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then, you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on, then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester, let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, you saved my ass. Oh, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty. Braved history, but history nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. Hey, what you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Come I on. can't stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you gotta marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. <sighs> fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? 
I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear, it ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. Situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you like do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? It should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. The files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit! And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. This stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. The place is crawling with ballas, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah. Tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there you go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't wanna be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic, classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh.
take Lamar! Alright, I'm going too! Alright, you too! Go! Go, 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 go! T, call me, dog! I'm gonna come up to the unicorn to get horny on your office supply! I'm straight, homie. Bitches got to jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or right, get killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Cause in reality, all them fools wanna clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dawg. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up, I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the busy. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I, shit, I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you show, sure? cause I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Nigga, so I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun if he had fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the city. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, yeah, nigga, I know you done went all the Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. It's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours are trying to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Man, you supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you will get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture, homie. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who is that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey! Flossing oh, ass, nigga. You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davey. Again! So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? 
Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve. He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. A limo, Jim? Really? The Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Say, hey, where you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here. Which makes me a movie producer's kid. Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo, yeah. You see the Strizz Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. You hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Get back down here. And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited. V to the I to the P. Jimmy, read my neck rolls entitled E. N. T. Uh, title. Cause I am. Jimmy! Oh, Pop Chill. I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey, you made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Hey, we're here. You know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Oh, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. And uh, have you ever uh, thought maybe I shouldn't shoot sex scenes in a green screen kind of environment? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, the thought has uh, crossed my mind. I suppose. Thanks, Antonio. Give me nice and tight. Never... Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um, Love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? 
You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife, seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck! You're a dead man! Let's go, Jim, come on! W what's happening? Where's Mom? Come on, the girls might be in trouble at the house. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. And I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right, okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No. He's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Shit, what's that car? All right, Jimmy, you keep yourself concealed. I'll go get the girls. You gotta save them, Pop. Daddy's home, you prick. Stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Oh, got you, dick. Oh, uh, oh, be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting. Oh, fuck. fuck. Oh, Yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off! <laughs> oh. Oh. Get Whoa. the fuck off me! Uh, I, I thought I was on that guy! Oh. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. They came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you, nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. That's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Michael, did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house. I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. Do any of you ladies like wearing clown face? Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. Me too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, all right, all right, right enough! Huh? Enough! Thank you. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, <laughs> out there, but then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage. And we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front. 
Make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, or I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more, um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> That's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Ha <laughs> The first driver will pilot one of the choppers getting you out of there. Half the gold will be in that chopper, so these better be some safe effing hands. And the second driver's in charge of the train. I don't think we need to hire someone very expensive for this. Jobs for the bureau team. Gunman what? After the bureau, I'll stick with them. Mr. Abalaji, is solid. You take him on a job, just don't ask him about the psychiatric industry. We'll only get one shot at this thing. Is this the shot we want to take? Great. All right. We get the tunnel bore machine, and we're good to go. Fucking glory seeker. Oh, you got any better ideas? Obviously not, otherwise you would already killed me and done the gig yourself. I mean, what kind of vain asshole decides that the best way to rob the largest holding bank on the West Coast is for him, and him personally, to come at the front door? The kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you, you douchebag. Okay, all right, all right, ladies. We gotta move. Come on. Man, can we fucking do this? I'll show you what you need. What ain't gonna happen? Four hundred million dollars isn't making this guy a player, and it ain't making you a good person. Now put on your clothes. Hey, so we ready for to get this shit cracking, right? Fuck yes. Oh, yes. If you actually get dressed, then maybe you will. Ready for action, huh? Let's go. All right, I'm gonna meet my guy at the bank. Gold ain't ours yet, but we are this close. Get the crew. Let's go, let's go. in the air, running comms, and managing the link-up with the train. Some rent-a-hood ain't gonna be able to handle logistics, T. Rent-a-hood? Please, don't put me in a 
spiral of negativity. Hey, I'm in the tunnel, man. When you start your field of bag with Bill's routine, give me a word. You ready to do something profoundly stupid? Only if I'm not ready will I ever be ready. Hey, let's drill a hole in this damn thing. at the Alta Street footbridge. This way! Where'd all the loose guys go? Was there another robbery? 12 is 18. I don't doubt it's this way.
they can stay on us to the wind farm. I'm not gonna hit him from back here! Hold it here! I'll take the shot! Woo! Did Daddy do that to ya? <laughs> Let him go! Hold it steady! We got contact! Horizon's clear! We're out! Alright, let's go for the train! Buzzkill. Hey, look, man, I'm gonna get the car up out of here, all right? All right. Hey, you two, come with me. I'm gonna need some help getting the metal in storage for a few days before I can sell it. Both of us? Yes, both of you. All right, it's been a pleasure working with you. You'll get paid when we get the cash. But until then, I want you to keep it on the down low. No new cars, no vacations. No nothing! Now, come on, sugar! <laughs> oh, fuck me. Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah! But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're going to A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... And you know what? Man, fuck you. Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Man, fuck you. Franklin? Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right, I'm coming. It's time for... What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But, you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting, and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the... Um, oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever hole he hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right, I say... Kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Whoa. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dawg. I know, okay, but I, 
I'm sorry. I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both, that you boys are at the foundry in Marietta Heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe, both of them will pay you a visit and BAM! We turn it into a, a bust! I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry and get yourself set up. I got you. All right. What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? Man, that's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here. There he is. Where we going? We, uh, heading to the foundry place. Hey, look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hear me. Man, we got a real problem, dawg. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who want to clap your homie? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Look, man, Mike and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. Mr. Man, our showdown with a private army, and you're bringing a rifle? Yeah, I'm bringing a rifle. It's a good gun. It'll get the job done. That gun? It makes me think that- Hey, man, what the fuck am I doing risking my ass trying to save y'all ass if you just gonna kill each other? Hey, you're not saving me, you're saving him! Ah, oh, you're saving this fat fuck! Man, y'all gotta keep y'all fucking heads right and end this shit. If not, man, I'll put bullets in both of you motherfuckers. Hey, they here? I know them when I see them, homie. They creep. All right, good. Y'all hear that? Now, if we doing this shit, man, it's either now or never. Come on, Trevor. Fuck it! Where do you want me? All right, man. You go over there. All right, where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Watch your stickers. Gee, dog, you gotta wait.
Can you get to him? Shit! Fine! I'll try and find him! Keep your head! For now? Exactly, for now. So, what's next, huh? Are we just gonna wait around till someone else comes to kill us? Or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned again? Oh, fight me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. Well, hell yeah, let me see. There's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that triad motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch? You wanna throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals, Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Shut that! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the beach club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> a nigga just want to be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's who. Mike on Trevor, too. He great. I'm moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! Ugh, this is crap! Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this framed right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Oh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Rolling. Oh my god! God! What's his name? He shot him! Jesus fucking Christ. Requesting backup for a. Well, we 
Hey, the old man's here. He's leaving the beast club. I'ma do it now. Yo, son. He got it. Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? I'm picking up Devin Weston so he can... Combat situation! We got a man! Wait, wait, hear me out! <clears throat> no more talking! Mr. Weston, let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. You know, you're a, you're a resourceful guy getting past those crazy killers. I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious high team issue. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't. And the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. That's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me. You'll have everything you'll ever want to do. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I got my own company! Trevor Phillips Industries! Oh, yeah, a, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a stick and give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. You Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Franklin? I'll be here. Franklin. All right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one, is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you. And then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Offshore? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? No, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going you nowhere. No, 
see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin. Goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. Now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh.